Today, my cow Bessie bought me a brand new zoo and wanted me to fill it with animals. I had no idea that my brother Adam opened his very own zoo right across the street. So, being the older brother, I have to take him and his zoo down. <laughs> then who's going down? Watch until the end to find out which zoo got the most animals and made the most money. Also, after the video, be sure to check out my merch over at BeckBroJack.co. Welcome, ladies and Yo, gentlemen, guys, to my brand what's new up? We zoo. are starting a zoo. Wait. Today. Yo! Uh, yo! Whoa! Whoa! Did Wait, you, you escape? Did you open a zoo right next to, to my zoo? My coop. I'm starting a zoo. Uh, I have no idea you started a zoo. <laughs> what's up? What's Here up? we go, okay, zero, okay. zero. I will murder you and put you in the polar bear exhibit. I automatically win. Get into my zoo. Get okay. into my zoo. Oh get, my get, get, get in. Get in. Get in. Dude, the stakes are so much higher. Oh, I didn't know this was a competition. Yes, sir. Wait, wait. How do I get people to come to my zoo? They're, I have no animals. Yes, sir. Nah, dude. You are the animal. You are dirt boy. <laughs> my zoo's empty. Wait a second. Okay, people. <laughs> get your butt in here. Yo, I'm wait, literally wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? <laughs> hey. They don't want to. <laughs> dude, you're, you're taking hostages. Oh, my everybody, God. This is so funny. Everybody. My zoo has free <laughs> cookies. Free. Oh, crap. Uh, dirt boy he is here. Oh, gosh. I have nothing. Thing. You have animals in your zoo? Um, don't tell anybody, but no, not yet. <laughs> not yet, but I will. I, after they come into the zoo and they realize there's there's nothing, it doesn't matter because I already stole their money. Oh my gosh, dude, your zoo stinks. I, I have so have, many animals get, in guess my money zoo. I, have. I got $250 ruse. Oh my gosh. What's up, bro? I'm what, stealing what, your villagers. What, you, you, got, you got nothing on me. Wait, I got $300. $300. Come here. I'm taking every single villager that wants to go in your zoo. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> sucker. Why are you carrying it like a little baby? I don't know. <laughs> they, they, I think they get small. All right, ladies and gentlemen, okay. I need you guys' support. If you guys think that my zoo is going to become the best zoo, be no, sure no, 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 no. Get me get back here. Can I pick up multiple villagers at the same time? No, you can't. You can only pick up one. I'm not strong enough for multiple. Dude, yep. they're disappearing. To get the best zoo. Wait. <laughs> what? Yo. Get Give me. Get, I just stole your villager, sucker. He's, he already paid. Joke's on you. No, he did not. There's no he way. He did. I see his money. It's on, it's on oh, the conveyor crap. belt. Let's go. Oh, he's going to pay again. Oh, look at this. Next time you come through, Adam, you better be wearing a helmet. Uh, What does that mean? I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to stay away. Okay. Let's see how much money I got. First exhibit. <gasps> I got birds. That was oh so Oh, my sick. gosh. I have so much money. <laughs> Okay. Wait, how do you have $800? Oh, I was just racking up cash. I also have a bird exhibit now. What's okay, so, up? So, so, so now, now that we have extra exhibits, right? The people will pay more money to see the birds. They pay extra at my zoo. I charge more. Are you I'm in awesome. the exhibit? Like, are you are you a part of the yes, attraction? Yes, I am Dirt Boy, and you're a flipping monkey. Get back. People are zoo. coming for my free cookies and genuine good time. In it they hate you. <laughs> I told everyone you What'd smell you say bad. to me? What'd you say? <laughs> What's up? I'm gonna destroy you. <laughs> hey! Hey! Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> what? Yo! No, 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 no. Open up with Get away from me! <laughs> Security! <laughs> Security! <laughs> I I, you can kill money. me? What the heck? <laughs> no, 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 no. The zoo Dude, game is a dangerous game, it's young on. man. No, get away from me. You ever How hear you of Carol Kane? Baskin? <laughs> oh, I got myself a crowbar, buddy. What's up? Killed her husband, whacked him. <laughs> get out of here. Wait, please don't whack me. We're just going to be friends now. Oh, now we're friends. You just murdered <laughs> don't do me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just, just leave, leave my man alone. Oh, look at this. I could buy security. Huh. Wait, uh, how much is security? Wait, I have security. It's I got two zombie security guards. Dude, they didn't even try to anything. stop you. They just laughed at me. Oh, wait a second. It says purchase guard $25,000. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of money. I don't remember guards being so expensive. <laughs> Villagers, over here. I have an amazing bird exhibit. I got birds. And guess what else I got there, bud? <laughs> that's all I got. I got polar bears. No way. <laughs> no way. Three, I got to go quick. Two, one. Let's go. No, 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 no. I got to bring more villages. Villagers, villagers are willing to pay more to see the polar bears? I didn't know that. Crap. But now I do. I gotta move. Okay, okay, what do you say? Hold on, hold on, hold on. So, 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 you can upgrade the conveyor's speed as well, so you can get Here the money go. even faster. <laughs> it just tickles. Die, die, die. I'm stealing your body. No, 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 no. Back it up, back it up. No, no, he got it. See you later, sucker. I'm taking it right back out of your pocket. Oh, no, oh, no. 
<laughs> Yo, look at my money. Oh, you I barely just, took I anything. I stole half of it, didn't I? No, no, you, you took like maybe 20%. Wait, how did you get so much money? Did I have that much money? Just Yeah, I stole a ton of money from you. What and I got a polar you? bear exhibit. Let's go. Hold up, hold up. Okay, We're okay, back okay. in the race. New animal coming at you live through the power of monkeys. <laughs> yeah, oh, we got monkeys. Oh, chimpanzees. We got, I think that might be an orangutan. Orangutan, 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 orangutan. How do you get monkeys? A um, thousand dollars? Yeah, it is. You just made a money? Quite a little bit of money. Well, you can, <laughs> we can see each other's money. <laughs> okay, how much on, are people willing on. to pay now? Whoa, bro. Yo, yo, people Crap. are willing to pay gold nuggets. Ooh. I am literally yeah, just same. making racks on top of stacks. Excuse me, I hey, want to go hey, check hey. out this no, super no, no, cool no, zoo over here. Do not kill my, <laughs> do not steal my money. There's so many cool things in this you zoo. You can check out the monkeys. Whoa, this door is open. Hey, wow, I, got I need money. security. No, <laughs> get out of here. Get your butt out of here. Let's go. Zombies, get them. Security guards have zero brain cells. Zombies. Oh my gosh, they're so trash. <laughs> Get crapped on, boy! No. How do you have 4,000? Oh my gosh, you stole so many monies. Do you have another exhibit yet? Now I will soon. Wait, I might actually be able to buy one. I haven't even looked around my entire zoo yet because I've been really scared that you're going to come in and steal all my money. Yeah, there's a ton of stuff we can get. Okay, let's see. Next up. Oh, lions! Sick! What the heck's in here? Yo, guess who has lions? You got lions? I got lions. I'm going to eat your face. <laughs> 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 Keep talking smack. I am a lion. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> it's, it's a little scary. It's a little sus. Well, it's time to play ball, buddy. Think everybody, I'm messing around. Er everybody watch out. Adam Adam might eat my face today, which is slightly you concerning. You guys don't like it. Subscribe. I'm eating all your faces. <laughs> I'll pay the 50. Okay, look. Okay. I'm going to pay. The okay, price for you is $10,000. Actually, $2,500. I'm just seeing everything that's going to... Ah! No! <laughs> I knew it. I, knew it. I can never trust Give me the money. Give me the money. Only $700. This was not worth You're it. You're dead now. This was You're not dead worth now. it. Was it worth it? Die, die. I gotta go, I gotta go! Come on! Third point, any last words? <laughs> I need backup. I really need to buy security. <laughs> Are you still chasing me? Get away from me! I gotta fight back. You stupid lions, get them! Polar bears, help me! Help me! No! No! Oh, thank you for this $2,700. Oh my gosh, that's so much. You have 12000 I need so much. Hey, Are you doing hey, so many hey, damages? Hey, chill, 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 chill. <laughs> you need security. I'm coming for the kill. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're so fast. I'm taking your villager. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't even like that villager. <laughs> Sucker. Okay, let's see. Next up, what do I want? Gorilla? I think you need to take a break. Draft take, take a zebra user. combination. I don't I don't know. Um, let's go draft zebra. Whoa! You should probably save up for security. Yes, dude! Villager willing no. to pay more to see this. No. Wait, hold up, okay. hold up, hold up, hold up. I didn't even realize, bro. Some of these prices are insane. One million dollars. are 25k. One million dollars for an elephant. What? I'm not spending a million dollars on that Five hundred thousand dollars for a moose. Yo! This better be this, crazy. This, this moose better be made of just gold chunks. That better be the biggest moose ever. Dude, is there a special way to use this thing? <laughs> yes, you need to wait until it reaches. Ah! <laughs> I'm dead again. This, is this thing is trash. My zoo is so cool. Ooh, I have a lot of money. Yeah, wait a second. I actually almost have enough for a wait, security guard. How? You're getting so much. Okay, what do I get next? I think I, I might I actually... Know. Yes, I have enough. Oh, so close for gorillas. Wait, is this gorillas? Yes, gorillas. No. You need to get security. No. I'm not going to stop. I am what? the security. What are you, you going to do? You want to walk through me? You're going to have to get those gorillas eventually. And I'm coming <laughs> through, buddy. It's either you buy security or you buy the gorillas. Don't and I take it. everything. Don't you do it. No, it's up. Oh, I'm gonna yeah. kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, dirt boy. I gotta focus on getting Until these villagers. Until next time. I'm taking everyone. How okay. do you have so much okay. money? All right. So I'm gonna need you to All right, let's just go. Oh, let's go. Bucks, I, give me that. I don't know if it was worth What'd you it. Just buy? But I got somebody that's gonna keep an eye on you. I mean, he's gonna keep. A, <laughs> you he's gonna keep both of his eyes on dirt boy. You actually got security. Maybe. <laughs> your drafts don't even look like drafts. <laughs> oh, oh, let's test out your security. Ah! There's no security. Wait, on look, the at side. This, look at this trash can. <laughs> no. Wait, 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 don't, don't kill me. I did the wrong you side. Gotta test your security. You gotta <laughs> yeah. test your security. Yeah, go, go look at this security. fool. Hey, where look is at he? that fool. <laughs> He's so bad. <laughs> look at that trash can. Ah! You stole seven thousand. I'm out of here. Look at your security. security. He's a joke. <laughs> ah! Ah! He's not a joke. He's coming Come after on. me. Oh, I gotta run. <laughs> No! Come on! <laughs> no! Security! <laughs> that dude was trash.
<laughs> no! <laughs> what were you saying? Yo, I just I told said that dude was trash, but she was. <laughs> oh, crap. No! My game just crashed. Don't- you can't do anything. <laughs> you can't do anything. Now is my time. No, 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 no. <laughs> Dirt Boy has risen from the dead. <laughs> What's up, Dirt Boy? Sonia? Dirt Boy is back. $20,000. Just got $21,000. From what? From what? Are you kidding me? All the villagers, as, as soon as you- you're, I told them that you shut your zoo down, so they kind of- Oh my gosh. To mind. Okay, I'm gonna start spreading the rumor that you have fake animals. <laughs> you're literally- you're literally selling poison at your zoo. Okay. Gorillas. All right, here we go. Yo, wait, the gorilla exhibit is kind of sick. That's actually Yo, crazy. Uh, Jack? Jack's animals are fake if you want to go to my zoo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's lying! Lies! Spreading false information that is illegal! Hey, fake animals! Hey, hey, hey this guy hey, smells! This, 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 this guy eats dirt! No, no, this, do not this walk guy, in there! This guy feeds his animals dirt! They're if you walk in there, the then, then you don't like cookies! <laughs> I got him! Get out of here! Yeah, you dude. hate cookies! You, you wanna get you banned? Loser. I can't even. What did you do? I'm I can't even hit you! To me. I can't even hit you! What did you do? You, I'm you hacker? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, I forgot to go back to gaming. <laughs> <laughs> you have five thousand dollars to your entire name. Oh, you got tigers though. Who who else who else has tigers? Nobody on this block. This is my block. Uh, how do you make your conveyor belt speed up? Oh, okay. You see, okay. this is why you I don't open it, up a zoo it. next to the zoo tycoon master. Back bro, zoo man. Okay, easy there, buddy. Uh, we get you. We get you. Back bro, wildlife. Uh, I heard you the first time, man. You're good. You're good. Bang. Twenty two k. Gorilla man. Where are these exhibits at? <laughs> Let me buy some more. Wait, this is the first time. Money. This is monumental, ladies and gentlemen. He has more money than me. Dirt Boy has surpassed me in the bank account. Mm -hmm. Oh, Bro. I can't even get the tiger. Stupid thing. Uh, oh my gosh. Hey. Well, people, people are paying top dollar to see that tiger exhibit. Crap. I need to get it ASAP. Wait, did you upgrade your conveyor belt? I want to do that. Uh, upgrade. Oh my gosh, it's only five thousand to upgrade. No, 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 no. Don't, don't. Yo, it goes so much faster. That. It goes so you don't much do that. faster. You don't gotta do that, man. It's all good. Um, I just made ten thousand dollars in like two minutes. This is fantastic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my hey. gosh, I was, I was being stealthy. Hey. Turn around. Bruh. Hey. Bruh. You know what the funny thing it. is? I I was being really quiet because I was going to come do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I just took one of your villagers. Let's go. I don't even care. One villager makes zero difference when I have $20,000 pouring into oh my, my conveyor belts. Look at the money what? stacks. Here we go. I need 50K. Oh. Okay, look, 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 look at that. We got polar bears. We have monkeys. We have gorillas. We have giraffes. We have zebras. We have kangaroos. We have tigers. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh I don't my. have bears yet. Wait a second. Where'd you get the bears? I don't know. It was just fun to say. Oh. I don't have bears. Oh, okay. Unless I do. I'm playing mind wait. tricks with you, buddy. Yeah, wait a second. Are you just copying my zoo? I feel like you have a lot of the same exhibits as me. <laughs> well, they pretty much cost the same amount, so there's a limited amount I can buy here. Stop copying me. Oh my gosh. How are you getting so much money the conveyor belt upgrade along with the tiger exhibit is doing wonders exhibit. for my zoo carrying i didn't realize zoos make so much money i feel like uh, we should probably open a zoo in real life oh my gosh i just made another ten thousand dollars in three seconds my zoo is literally going off right now there are so many people no! here this is the best day ever Wait, where are the I, tires i trapped myself okay looks like i maybe have like i think four more exhibits yes! to open until i have every single animal in zoo tycoon oh these tigers are sick i i don't think your tiger you have sick tigers dirt boy has sick tigers everybody come to my no, zoo no that's not what i meant <laughs> you have rhinos um now i do <laughs> crap <laughs> Yo, Dang, i gotta be you to one animal. Okay, 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 It's not gonna happen. Okay, are you counting up all the Ks I have? Because I have 37 K K. Oh, wait a second. I thought, oh, oh crap. Okay, no, no. So many money. This is, yo, this is kind of weird. I just saw these two villagers kissing in my zoo. Kind of weird. Guys, kissing is allowed at my zoo. Bring it in. Kind of strange. You're trying to push people out. I only need, I think two, wait, no, three more exhibits. I need the moose, the elephant, and then one other one in the back left corner. Ah, ah, Security's on me! No! Wee -wee -wee -wee. Oh my gosh, that was so much money! Was that that was so much money! Oh my gosh! I'm stealing half Stolen! Half Empty your pockets now, boy. I gotta get Empty out of here! Empty your pockets now! Let me get the other one! No! <laughs> I gotta go quick! No! Ah! No! Yes, I got it! <laughs> Wait, did I get it? No, you didn't no. get it! No! $25,000! You stole so much of it back! Oh! I'm like, wow! I'm, I'm literally at $100,000 again. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Dang yeah. it, I almost got away with it. Your security's actually on me now. He's figuring me out. <laughs> Wait, yeah, I might actually... 
I might have an idea. Do not buy another one. I think I just <laughs> need to buy a bunch of them. Boop. No. Boop. That actually might be a good idea. Big money moves in three, two. Oh no. One. Wait a second. Are you, about to, did you, buy the, you bought the rhinos. Rhino. You don't even like rhinos. I love rhinos. I am a rhino. <laughs> oh my gosh. Rhinos make that sound. Wait. Here we go. Here we go. I have so oh. much cash coming in. I'm racking I'm in the cash now. I'm actually I'm gonna be able to get 2.5 million dollars soon. My zoo is about to just destroy yours. That's a lot of money. Soon. Wait a second. Wait a second. At this point, hold on, hold on. If I get this upgrade, yes, 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 it is. Okay, okay, okay. What's up, man? You, dude, how many security guards you got over there? Like, this 10. is getting a little tricky. Just come on, tr tr try it just... out. Ah! <laughs> I just walk right by him. They're trash. How? No, no, no. Hey, hey! Security! Security! Ah. No, there's only so 10k. This was not worth it. This was not worth it. Security! Security! Get him. Wait, how many securities do you have? I need to like Paul Blar oh my gosh, cops here, bro. He would do a I'm better so job. so dead. No! Oh my gosh. People are following the trend. This okay, zoo is the best zoo, guys. There has to be so much don't, money. Don't miss no, out. My, my zoo literally has all the same animals as yours, and we also have free cookies. So, I mean, my I don't really animals understand. are cooler. Your your zoo doesn't do anything better than my zoo does at, like, at all. Wait, is the next purchase 500k? I think so. Oh, my gosh. Okay, it's race to 500. <laughs> you are losing that, my friend. <laughs> I am far behind. Yo, and I'm right I have... like that. I'm back at it. I need the villagers to leave and then come back. Oh, no, wait. Did you get the hippos? Uh, what the heck is a hippo? And hippo where is it? Hippo, 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 miss. I don't I think I did. How much, how much were the hippos? $20,000. Oh, that's it? No, oh, wait. There's grizzly bears for 250k. What? I am not I need to go on. I need to explore I was a little just I was actually just kidding. No, it's just the Here birds. It's just the birds, the, the polar bears, and the Ooh, monkeys. Ooh, I didn't get kangaroos. Let me get That's kangaroos. fine. What else we got? 70, hippos. I'm getting hippos. What else we got? Grizzly Yo, bears. You might want to okay. start picking up some villagers. <laughs> I'm not that far behind, buddy. I'm catching up quick. And I got a team of bodyguards that are ready to chomp your face off. Grizzly bears. Yo, my zoo is Crap. epic. Grizzly I almost have enough for grizzlies. Kangaroo. I just upgraded my conveyor belt. You Hopefully haven't upgraded that pays it off. yet? That's why. No, max. Max upgrade. I know. Mine's been max upgraded. Oh, it's been? Yeah. All right. I got to do what a man's got to do. I'm stealing your villagers. <laughs> Bro, chill. Going back to the basics here. I thought, I thought we were civil. Let's go for a race. Don't don't hit me. Do not touch me. You're going to hit back. your own villager. Drop him now. Back Drop him. it up. Drop him. Sir, don't hit sir, me or we sir, both go down. Sir, you don't have to do this. You you can you can jump <laughs> he away. have a choice. <laughs> Why is just he so walk weak? Away. Why can't just he just jump away? away? Just walk You're away. You're stealing a man. Right, we're good. Attack! Give me a back! Ah! Ah! Don't take him! No! No! He's mine. Bring him back! No! Hi! Hi! I can see you. I'm running right by your security, and I'm going for the uh, bank. No! 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 Ah, that's no, a lot of money. Two hundred k! Yes! No. Yes! Bruh. I gotta hit Bruh. the other one. Bruh. Come Bruh. on! Not true. Come on! Come on! I'm slipping right through. Your security's trash. Dude, they don't even hit. No! Yes. You I saved got hundred thousand dollars. Dang it! You're a savage. That's okay, bad. wait a second. I have enough for the moose. After I get the moose, it Crap. is a race to two point five mil. Dude, the moose is carrying right now. I think you need the moose. I'm I don't being know. Honest. I just got another three hundred thousand dollars. I'm at a million. No! No! I'm literally cashing in. I'm still picking up villagers. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. Yes, I gotta pick up the villagers. No, 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 no. Why'd I say that? Crap. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Free samples at my village. I gotta take them away from you. Free samples for all Free villagers. Free samples of what? All shapes and sizes. You have nothing to no offer No dirt boys allowed. You don't even have a moose. Dirt boys Guys, are I have not a moose. allowed. There is no dirt allowed in my village. None. <laughs> <laughs> no dirt. Only villagers. You're not even speaking English. On, Wait. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yo, chill. I can take the lead right now. Ready? Watch this. Psych. Here we go for the lead. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, crap. I picked that's, up too many villagers. That's not so good. close. We are so that's close. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. I got to keep no. picking up more. No, no, no. no I only no. need $120,000. Oh, my. You only need 5K? Yes! No, no. Yes! No. 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 If go! I beat you to the top, I can go! win. No. Wait a second. I can't get to my no, roof. No, I'm so close. I need 400K. Where's my come staircase? On, come on, come on, come on. Do not press that button. Wait, my staircase is give me, broken. Give me, give me, No, I don't have enough. No, crap. My staircase is broken. Yes, yes, yes. Wait, how do I get I up? I need 200,000. How do I come get up on. to my staircase? Come on. Dude, wait, I'm wait, so wait. close. Do you have a staircase? I'm so, I'm not going to tell you. Wait, come wait. On, come on. Yo, what do I do? I literally only need 200,000. Wait, you have to buy a staircase? Yep, yep. You can figure it out, buddy. Oh, come on, come on, come I on. have so much money. Oh, yeah. Come wait. on. Wait a second. You don't have a staircase either. You, you. 
Did you buy the elephant? Dude, 2,000, 2,000 more. Come oh, on. If I buy the moose, I bought the moose. You bought the moose? Are you crazy? Wait, is that the only way? I can way? do this. No. Yes, I have no, 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 no. Dude. And I have a staircase. Why do yes. I have a staircase? <laughs> what is this? What is yes. this? Let's go. I have so much money. <laughs> Zootopia. <laughs> Yes, this will be where we stake the ground of our brand new Beckbro Zoo. Ooh, we can buy zoo paths for five coins. Whoa, dude, that was epic! There's so much room for exhibits. And it looks like we could buy our first exhibit, the turtle exhibit. Don't mind if I do. Whoa, dude, this is epic. Are there any turtles here? What? <laughs> you know, it just spawned in out of nowhere. Betty said, nice work. Your first customers will be arriving on the bus shortly. We have all different types of turtles. We got a tortoise, a turtle with chicken pox, a baby turtle, and Rocky the jumping turtle. He has issues. The more animals that we have in the Beck Bro Zoo, me means that we'll get even more customers. And more customers means more money. We'll be able to use that money to buy modded animals later in today's video. Yes. Welcome one and all to the Beck Bro Zoo. Whatever you guys do, don't go near Rocky. He bites. Oh yeah, guys, check it out. We're getting so many coins. And we could use that coin to buy even more exhibits. There's another bus full of people. Come on in, guys. It's only going to be five coins per entry. We're making fat stacks of cash. Okay, next up, let's buy the beach exhibit for only 20 coins. And it looks like that one's going to be front and center, just where I like it. Yo, yes, it worked. Let's see what we got. Oh, nice. We got some hermit crabs. What do you got there, little buddy? Oh, is that uh, the helmet of a deceased warrior? That's not not creepy at all. Check it out. There's also stingrays. I gotta be careful around them. What's up there, little dude? And we also got a giant hermit crab. I'm gonna call you Big Chunk. We still have a lot more space left to fill in the Beck Bro Zoo. Okay, let's see. What else can we get? These people aren't paying good money just to see crabs and turtles. We need something good. Yes, bro. Of course. Flamingos. Who doesn't want to see a giant pink bird that eats shrimp? Come on in, ladies and gentlemen. We just got our brand new exhibit. Flamingo. Oh, booyah, baby. I love how it just spawns in out of nowhere. Oh, God. Wait, there's there's a there's a, there's a a customer. There is a customer inside with the flamingos. I'm so sorry, sir. We don't have security yet. Whatever you guys do, don't tell anybody what you just witnessed. He will be flamingo food. Welcome, my pink brothers, to the Beck Bro Zoo. I hope you guys enjoy your stay. So far, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing a pretty decent job. This is good training for eventually when I open up my own zoo in real life. Oh, yeah, dude. And check it out. At the top of the screen, there's the Beck Bro Zoo success. We have a long ways to go to become the best zoo in the entire world. If we're gonna do that, we need some birds. Betty, keep an eye on the flamingos. I have more birds to find. Uh, did somebody leave the turtle exhibit open? If anybody sees a turtle on the loose, put it back, please. Okay, let's go ahead over here and we will spawn in the bird exhibit. Whoa, this looks epic, dude. There's so many birds. What the heck is this bird? Obviously, that's a turkey. We have a nice Owl. Owls kind of creep me out, especially because they can turn their head like 360 degrees. We got Toucan Sam. There's a duck. Oh, if there's a chicken in here, we can make a turducken. Whoa, bro, we got a falcon. Oh my God, that is a giant mouth chicken. I wonder if I could ride on these. Oh, holy smokes, I can. All right, I can't let any of the villagers see that. I'm gonna have Petey come out here and arrest me. I didn't even notice yet, but dudes, we are getting rich from this zoo. I have 191 coins and I only started out with 10. You guys should totally leave a like on today's video because if you do what you'll be investing into the Beck Bro Zoo. Every one like is one coin. And trust me, guys, you're going to want to make that investment now because we are about to buy the monkey exhibit, aka my brother Dirt Boy. And of course, you guys already know we need to put the monkeys dead center so that people can admire their greatness. <laughs> Yo, dude, this monkey wants out. It looks like there's a couple gorillas in there. I'm fully expecting to see turds all over the walls. I swear, that's all monkeys do, bro. They eat banana bananas and they throw turds at the wall. Actually, I did read something that said that monkeys don't even really like bananas. Is there a way that I could get inside of the monkey exhibit? I mean, it doesn't really seem like it, but low key, that's probably for the best because uh, if I can get in, that means they could probably get out. I don't know what it is, guys, but for some reason, these monkeys don't really look like monkeys. They kind of look like squirrels and 
and Yoda combined together. Speaking of squirrels, bro, there's a squirrel that is escaping. Yo, dude, we got a code blue. Squirrel on the loose. Stay calm. I'm gonna leave that there. We're getting a lot of people at the Beck Bro Zoo. Oh my God. Yo, dude, there's more. We gotta keep this moving. Okay, next up, we can get the mutant exhibit for 150 coins. Is that what I think it is? Okay, we gotta travel all the way over there. I gotta get myself like a motorcycle or a helicopter. Let's go ahead and spawn in the mutant creature zoo. Yo, dude. Okay, okay, everybody stay calm. We got a couple customers that got trapped in here, and I'm pretty sure they just died. Sorry, guys. Uh, oh, dear God. Come back, come back, come back in. There, no, don't, don't you dare. Don't you dare jump down. That's not good. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here before something seriously wrong happens to my body. I like my body in one piece, and I'm pretty sure that creeper does not like when my body's in one piece. Don't look at me like that. All right, everybody stay calm. We got a mutant spider creature on the loose. Whatever you do, do not feed it cookies. Those cookies are mine. Even though we had a slight mishap with our mutant spider pig escaping the exhibit, we're still making fat stacks of cash. The Beck Bro Zoo stonk is going through the roof. And let's see, next up, we can get our hands on the lizard exhibit. Wait a second, that kind of looks like a dragon. Okay, the lizard exhibit is going to be way over here, and we're gonna go ahead and spawn it in. Whoa, dude, this place is awesome. Wow, there's so many creatures in here. There's a giant dragon lizard. There's a iguana. There's a, I don't even know what that thing is. Oh, a little tiny guy. Oh, there's a chameleon. This is one of the coolest exhibits yet. Uh, did that flamingo just fly? I thought you were supposed to be a flightless bird, dude. Are you guys secretly eagles in disguise? Did somebody paint the eagles pink and say they were flamingos? Because honestly, I would believe it. Guys, I'm getting a little bit worried about the amount of people we have in our zoo. It's only me and Betty. Nobody else works here. Okay, let's see what else we can get. Next up, we get the ocean exhibit for 200 coins. And check out the Back Bro Zoo success bar. We're not even halfway there and we have so many awesome exhibits. Okay, it looks like the ocean exhibit is going to be way over there in the east section of the Beck Bro Zoo. Yo, this thing looks like it's gonna be ginormous. Dude, that is amazing. Oh my, whoa, 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 whoa. Is that a shark? Oh dear mother of God. Um, hey, uh, what is actually down there? That is, that is not, that is not of this world. We got some sort of crazy creature in there. I was expecting to see, I don't know, like a dolphin or a penguin. That is like the final boss battle in Squid Game, bro. Ooh, I do see a jellyfish down there. I have a weird feeling that that this thing is going to kill every other creature in the ocean exhibit. I gotta do something about this. I'm going in, boys! Where is it? So far, I don't see it. Um, guys? I don't see anything in here. <laughs> okay, I'm getting a little bit nervous. I don't see anything in here, which probably means that it has the ability to go invisible. And then it's gonna steal all of my money, and then I'm not gonna be able to build the zoo anymore. I also saw that there was an underground section. Ah, yes, down here. Whoa. Oh, there's other exhibits, too. We have our own little aquarium. Oh, check it out. We got some sort of cephalopod. I love me some cephalopod. There's also a squid, some baby shrimps, a ginormous catfish. That thing weighs more than me. Oh my gosh, wait, there's more. Check it out, dudes. There's so many fish. Oh, yo, yo, is that a shark? I think we actually have our first ever shark in our exhibit. Fun fact, we actually can't put great white sharks in aquariums. For whatever reason, they always have problems. Okay, that is clearly the best exhibit by far. And I think everybody else agrees because guys i don't know if you guys have noticed but check out my coins we have over 1700 coins so far we've had some pretty crazy creatures but i have a feeling we could get even crazier i mean bessie is privately funding this so if i know my cow bessie she's gonna have me add the craziest mobs you've ever seen like this a dragon exhibit for only 300 coins dude that is highway robbery that is a straight steal guys i'm nervous but i'm excited let's check this out oh Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, there's two. There's a fire dragon and an ice dragon. Yeah, dude, I'm sorry, bro. You should have you should have probably backed up when I was spawning in my dragon exhibit. Did you not hear me screaming? Okay, we're gonna name you Inferno version two and Frostbite version two. Uh, how do I get out of here? These guys look awfully hungry. Oh, oh, can I ride on this thing? Oh, yo, that is epic. I can't tell if he likes me. Best friends forever. Oh, he loves me. Everybody, come on over here. We got dragons, boys. Oh, they are rushing towards the dragons. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Dragons are pretty cool, but I think that we can add in something even cooler. Butterflies. Yes, I 
know what you're thinking. Butterflies, you know, dragons are probably way cooler than butterflies. But wait until you guys see this butterfly exhibit. Um, is that a stray porcupine? You know what? I'm just gonna act like I didn't see it. Part of the reason why the people love to come to the Beck Bro Zoo is because they get, you know, very, very live interactions with animals. You could come so close to the point where a porcupine could attack you. That's just the small price you gotta pay. Oh my god. There's so many butterflies. And not only butterflies, look, we got dragonflies. There's a fly that is spewing and pooping out ice. Ladybug flies. Snails. Okay, maybe it's not as cool as the dragon exhibit. But don't worry, gamers. I got something that'll knock your socks off. Let's check it out. Boom. Desert exhibit. Look at that. It's a camel. We're not only gonna get just that. We have tons of money, so we're gonna get the penguin exhibit and the griffin exhibit. We just got three for the price of uh, three. Yeah, I think I still paid for the price of three. Let's see what this one's gonna be. Yo, dudes. I love how the villagers get stuck inside of the exhibits. Yeah, this is the first one where we actually decided to put a roof on it. I mean, other than the butterfly sanctuary, probably should have done that with the mutant creatures. But you know, you live and you learn. We got some camels in this one. Oh, check it out, dudes. We also got a vulture. My favorite. Camels and vultures. Yeah, that's actually, that's pretty cool. This guy's loving it. Oh, did, okay, maybe he just left. Oh, check it out, boys and girls. Next up, we got penguins. My favorite flightless birds. Oh, dudes, there's even babies. Oh, they're adorable. Look at his big goofy eyeballs. Oh, I love it. I love it. They're so cute. And they can't even fly. We also still have a massive space right here for one of the most insane exhibits that I think you guys aren't even gonna believe. Stick around till the end to see that. But for right now, let's go ahead and we're gonna spawn in this. I genuinely have no idea what this is. What did I just buy? <laughs> what is this thing, dude? It is so majestical. I'm gonna name you Fluffly Sparkly Pants. I'm pretty sure this is a griffin. That has to be the most epic thing you've ever seen in a zoo. I don't know about you guys, but I love animals. I want you guys to go in the comment section right now and comment which animal you would want to see in the Beck Bro Zoo. The Beck Bro Zoo is turning out to be one of the best zoos in the entire world. And we're not even done. Okay, let's see what else money can buy. Lions! Yes! We're about to have Mufasa! Okay, we're gonna put the lion exhibit way over here in the corner. That way the people can come see their pink flightless birds, the ginormous dragons, sparkly fluffy pants, and then they'll be able to see lions. Okay, all right, just don't, no sudden movements. Don't look at me like that. Hey, yo, 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 do not look at me like I look at my lunch every single day. I do not want to become lion lunch. We're getting a lot of money, boys. Let's see, what else can we buy? Let's get a snake exhibit. We can also get an elephant exhibit, a giraffe exhibit, and with a little bit more money, we can get the forest exhibit. Yeah, here we go. Oh, we did it. We got some elephants, boys. The smartest land mammal other than me. Oh, they're gorgeous. Look at that. They're slurping up that water right now. Yo, Loki, I don't know about you guys, but I kind of wish sometimes I had a trunk. That way I could slurp up a bunch of water and I could squirt it at whoever I want. I mean, would I look very stupid? Yes, I would, but it'd be worth it. Okay, we're gonna name you Mo, Larry, and Curly. We'll be back to see you boys later. Next up, let's see. Whoa, dudes, giraffes. Oh my goodness. They're so ginormously tall. I feel like a young child looking up at their dad. And there's even a baby one right here. Aw, you're so cute and adorable. I'm pretty sure since giraffes are so tall, it takes like two days for their food to get from their face all the way to their stomach. And guys, right over here, let's see. Whoa. Oh, it's the snake exhibit. I low-key kind of forgot because I uh, maybe bought that like five minutes ago. Okay, let's see. What kind of snakes do we have? Looks like there's a cobra. There's like an anaconda. We got the spinny snake. It's a rare breed. Don't get me wrong. I love snakes, especially like ball pythons. I always wanted a ball python when I was younger, but uh, snakes are also pretty deadly and terrifying. Comment down below if you have a pet snake. And also what type of snake is it and what's its name? All right. While we've been building out more things, we've got more money, which means we could buy more exhibits. Let's get the forest exhibit and we can also afford the ram exhibit. I didn't even know rams were in Minecraft. Then again, I didn't realize half of these things were in Minecraft. Honestly, Mojang should keep adding more animals into Minecraft. There's already a ton of great mods that do it, but I mean, imagine if you didn't have to install any mods and you could have every animal you see in this video in Minecraft. That would be epic. Okay, let's see. This one should be, wow, the ram exhibit. That is a massive ram. Do rams get that big? I mean, I am six foot tall, so that ram has to be like, like Shaquille O'Neal size. He's gotta be like seven foot five. And then there's like these little guys over here and somebody accidentally put a sheep in the ram exhibit. This sheep is gonna get rammed. Good luck, sheep. And then way over here in the corner, we are going to add in the deer exhibit. 
exhibit, aka the forest exhibit that has deer. It has a ginormous moose. I've actually seen one moose ever in my life, and I will tell you, they are this big. You never really think about a moose being bigger than a, a human person, but it just is. I can't tell if they're farting or if they're making noises at me. I'm gonna really hope that they're not farting. Yeah! Give me your money! <laughs> I love when they come in, they just start throwing money in the air. They just make it rain. Okay, next up, let's see. We have tons of money. We can afford the polar bear exhibit and... Oh, no, wait. Yeah, we can afford the reindeer exhibit. We have to go way in the back to build these. Let's go ahead and get this one in here. Oh my goodness. That is the weirdest looking polar bear I've ever seen. That polar bear definitely missed a couple updates. <laughs> Over here, there's a seal. I'm pretty sure polar bears eat seals. I would hide if I were you. And then right across the way, we can go ahead and we can build the reindeer exhibit. So I guess this whole section is going to be the winter wonderland area. Okay, we got one reindeer here. We have Rudolph anywhere. I mean, this reindeer looks pretty cool. Oh, I could ride on its back. Yes. Whoa, dude. Oh, you're now mine. You're coming out of the exhibit. You've been upgraded to my deer. Okay, this guy's a lot slower than I thought he'd be. Pretty sure my 95-year-old grandmom is faster than this. There's so many people coming. Yes, more people equals more money. More money equals more animals like this wild boar. Wow, we're gonna need 2,800 coins to get the alligator. And then eventually we're gonna need 10,000 coins to get the Twilight Forest exhibit. Dude, that is a lot of money. To speed up that process, we're gonna keep adding more animals to the Beckboro Zoo. Like these ginormous warthogs. What's up, Pumbaa? I guess this is the king of all of the wild boars. These guys are minuscule in comparison. You guys are puny. And then we got this guy over here who I'm pretty sure just stuck his head in a wall. I guess you're the dumb one of the group. Come on, just a little bit more. And we got the alligator exhibit. Okay, that's gonna be way in the back. Let's go, Reginald. We got a lot of ground to cover. Two thousand years later. And we made it. Let's see. This is going to be uh, the alligator exhibit. I gotta make sure that I do not get my toes chomped off. Oh, dude, I love that there's always babies inside of every single exhibit. They're adorable. Not not you. You are a freaking dinosaur. You're the adorable one. Oh, you're so cute, little guy. Okay, your dad is growling at me. I'm gonna be on my way. There's only a few more animals left to add before we become the best zoo ever. Yo, dudes, we got the hippo exhibit next. Let's go. I've been waiting for this one. This one's gonna be way in the back, right next to the alligator exhibit. Hey, there we go. Okay, all right. I'm gonna steer clear of these hippos because supposedly they are one of the most aggressive animals ever created. Yeah. Yeah, just, uh, just, I'm gonna look at you from a distance. I do not want to be attacked by a hippo. They have ginormous teeth, and they don't even, I don't even think they eat people. They just, like, they'll chop you up or they'll run you over like a freaking bus. They do look kind of cute, though, especially the baby one. I can't believe how many people are in my zoo. I also don't know exactly what they're doing here. They're not even really looking at exhibits. They're kind of just running in circles. As long as they're giving me money, I don't care what they're doing. They could be picking their butt for all I care. Next up, zebra exhibit. This one's gonna be pretty massive, boys. Oh yeah, check it out. We could probably fit a couple more zebras in here. Oh, wait a second. Maybe I can ride on the back of this guy. Come on, it's okay. I know you want to. Yes, we got a zebra. I'll bring your dad back later. We gotta go get some milk. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about, boys and girls. This is real speed. There's only a few more exhibits left to get. And the next one that we can afford is the SCP exhibit. It does not seem smart to add in this exhibit. SCPs are notoriously deadly creatures. But I mean, if people want to come pay money to see it, I'm not going to stop them. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. That is a ginormous butthole. These guys are terrifying. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Luckily, it seems like they know that I am the master. There's the statue. There's the demo dog SCP. And then this guy, which I feel like he might be humans refuted. I don't think anybody wants to look at that. But it's kind of like one of those situations where it's almost like you have to look like it's so ugly that you just can't look away. Everybody, SCPs are in the back. Just don't get too close. You might die. Coming up next, we have the Parasite Exhibit. And the final one that we need just a little bit more money for is the Twilight Forest Exhibit. That one's gonna be the best one. This looks like a good spot for it. Yes, dude. Okay, I think I made a big mistake. As long as these guys don't escape, I think this is okay. <laughs> these dudes look so cursed. Check it out. 
There's even a horse, bro. Okay, I hear doors opening and I really hope people are not trying to get in here. And it looks like the parasite exhibit is about to get us to 10,000 coins. Yes, guys, we made it. Let's do it in three, two, one. And this one's gonna go right in the center. Oh my God, success. Your zoo is amazing. Look how much money we have. Bro, there is a hydra inside of our zoo. And I'm pretty sure he just murdered one of our customers. Yeah, you guys really should not be in here. We even have the Alpha Yeti in our exhibit. And <laughs> a baby Naga boss. This is officially the best day of my life. Come on in, ladies and gentlemen. I don't even want to know what happened to this guy. Let's go see what we can buy next. A Chucky exhibit for 20 coins. Boom. Let's go check it out. And it is front and center. Oh my gosh, dude. Is this even legal? I have a bunch of killer babies in my zoo. Whatever you guys do, don't tell the police. I mean, they don't look that scary, right? That has to be the biggest baby on planet Earth. Hey there, little guy. How's it going? That's a big knife you got there. I'm just going to back away slowly. All right. I'm gonna leave you alone and you leave me alone. Nobody has to get stabbed today. I really got to get security at this zoo. The people are loving it, which means that I'm getting fat stacks of cash. Next up, we can afford to get the blood golem for 50 coins. I think I found them. Ew, oh my gosh. I thought it was kidding when it mentioned blood golems. These guys are grotesque. What the? Whoa, whoa, what happened to my arms? Give them back, give them back. No, 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 give them back. I didn't mean it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. What the flip is happening to me? I'm already part human, part zombie. I did not want to be part blood golem. Actually, I'm, I kind of like it. What's up there, big guy? You're not so scary after all. <laughs> this is awesome. I can pick them up and then I can throw them up in the sky. Come on over here, guys. Oh, look, guys, we got a visitor. Hey, what's up, dude? Look at me. Look up. Oh, he... He left as soon as he saw my face. Am I really that ugly? Uh, no, 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 no. You stay in there. I'm picking you up. I can't have one of my scary myths escape this early on. So far, so good, guys. This place isn't that spooky after all. Next up, for 75 coins, we can get the Teletubbies exhibit. I don't know about you guys, but when I was younger, the Teletubbies were the scariest thing in my life. Even though they were supposed to be these, like, big Elmo characters, they did not do good things for my mental health. And it looks like we have to face those fears. Okay. Okay, I mean, they look pretty cool in there. All right, so there's the guy with the hat on. I, I see one of the Teletubbies in there. Can I get inside? Oh, there's an iron door. I guess that's for security purposes. Hey, uh, your name's Tinky Winky, right? Okay, guys. All right. Oh, why do you look so angry? Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and just, I'm just gonna give you a little tap on the belly. Just a little tickle. Oh, oh, oh God, what? That wasn't so bad. Okay. All right, no, that was fine. I think I'm just more scared because I thought that the Teletubbies were the scariest thing when I was younger. They're not that bad after all all right. Uh, okay, maybe they are. What the flip is this? Okay, what, what happens if I... Okay, all right, I'm out of here. Nope, nope, nope. You guys are creepy. I... No, nope, nope, nope. That's fine. I don't need to look at you any longer than I already did. I'm just gonna eat my cookies, just like I did when I was younger. Cookie make pain go away. Luckily, we have a bunch of freaks coming into my zoo that absolutely love this type of stuff, and I will give them more. Next up, we can get a creepy clown exhibit. This one's gonna be weird. Okay, it looks like creepy clown straight ahead. Come on in. In, ladies and gentlemen, we just got our brand new exhibit. Creepy clowns. Oh, they don't look too bad. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Beck Pro Zoo. It's really nice having you guys here. My name's Jack. What's your name? Oh, God. Okay, all right. What the flip are you guys made of? I'm just gonna leave this in here with you guys. And uh, yeah, you guys just, um, okay, bye. Don't go in there. Their bodies are so frail that they fall apart when you touch them. Welcome, welcome. Nice to see you guys. So far, our zoo is actually pretty successful. Even though I probably have mental trauma, it's fine. It's all worth it. Next up, we can get our hands on a giant Alex exhibit. I don't think I've actually seen Giant Alex before, but I've seen so many videos about Giant Alex. So I'm looking forward to meeting her. Oh my gosh. I was gonna ask myself, where is Giant Alex? But uh, I, I think I answered that question. This has to be our best exhibit yet. Hey, what's going on? Okay, so it looks like there's only one Giant Alex, which is cool. That's manageable. Am I able to get inside? Ah! 
What the flip was that? Giant Alex said something. Beware of Herobrine. He cannot be contained. He will be your zoo's demise. Uh, Betty the zookeeper didn't tell me anything about Herobrine. Well, why do I feel like I'm being watched now? Well, I mean, thanks for the message, Giant Alex. I feel like there was a better way to maybe go about doing that rather than screaming in my flipping ear. But that's okay. All right, cool. Message received. Why would I listen to Giant Alex? She's probably just trying to scare me. Let's go ahead and move on to the next exhibit with many voices. Oh, our first SCP. Whoa. Okay, I think I found the exhibit. Oh, what's up there, little guys? Oh my gosh, they have such giant teeth. Are you guys friendly? All right, guys, I am your owner. You now belong to me. I am Beck Bro Jack, owner of the world's scariest Minecraft zoo. I mean, yeah, they, they seem pretty friendly towards me. Thank you for your healthy contribution to the Beck Bro Scary Zoo. We're gonna go ahead and use that in order to buy Thomas.exe for 200 coins. Let's go check it out. Hey there, Thomas. Why is it that half of the scary creatures today are from my childhood? I feel like I'm gonna need therapy. Just eat the cookies, Jack. Just eat the cookies like your mom told you to. All right, yeah, it should be fine. Hey, what's up, Thomas the Trade? Um, all right, I, I just wanna get nice and close. It's gonna be fine. Um, What happens if I just stop you? Oh, no, he seems chill with that. Hey, what's up there, Thomas? Oh, oh okay, cool, he seems fine. Whoa, 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 I can ride on him! Holy smokes, dude. Okay, all right, all right, I don't think he likes this. Okay. Okay, all right, all right, I'll get off. I'll, where do I go? Okay, 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 I'm gone. You didn't have to be so rude about it. What the heck was that, guys? I'm just gonna head back over here. The blood golems don't seem so bad anymore. We still have a lot more scary exhibits to add if I want to live up to my name of the world's scariest zoo. Next up, we need to add in the blood warden. This has to be like the blood golems, but upgraded. Do you guys hear that? What the? Is that the blood golem? Oh my god. This guy is terrifying. Do you guys see this? I mean, Jeff here is loving it. Uh, uh yo, 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 Jeff, do not go inside. I think Jeff is dead. Okay, if I was a smart man, I would probably leave here. But as the zookeeper owner, I gotta give them a warm welcome. Hey, ah, ah, I just wanted to welcome you to my zoo. What are you doing? Stop, stop it. Ah, oh god, okay, okay, fine. Oh god, my ears. Holy smokes. What the? What the heck? I'm gonna go ahead and never go into this exhibit ever again in my entire life. I don't think my eardrums will ever be the same. Hey guys, go ahead. Yeah, go check out the warden over there. The, the blood warden. Super cool guys. Okay, we have tons of coins that I need to start spending. Let's get a possessed farm and let's also get Entity 303. That's gonna be my new favorite. Oh my gosh, this place is starting to come together. This looks like one of the new exhibits. Hey, what's up there, little guys? Oh my goodness. Um, Are you guys possessed by Hero Brian? Possessed pig. Okay, all right. They are definitely possessed. I'm gonna do my best to just not look them dead in the eyes. I heard a rumor that if you look at Herobrine for too long, that's how he possesses you. So far, I mean, it seems like, yeah, they are all possessed. There is not one single mob in this exhibit that is not possessed. Well, welcome to the Beck Bro Zoo. Have a cookie. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. See ya. And it looks like right next door is Entity 303. Wait, that actually kind of looks like Entity 303. We have a breach. No escaping. Yeah, whatever you guys do, don't tell anyone that you saw that. I gotta make sure to secure these guys. I'm basically the S. CP. I need to secure, contain, protect. Why is this door open? That's how they got out. Hey, what's up, fellas? Um, so I just wanted to let you know about some of our rules and regulations. Uh, you guys are totally welcome at the Beck Bro Zoo, but you just gotta make sure that you don't leave, all right? You guys gotta stay inside of your exhibit. Is that, is that cool? Oh, God, what the flip? <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. No, 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 no. I don't want to be entity 303. I don't like this. I don't like this. Everything is glowing. Turn me back. Oh my gosh. Whoa, whoa. Hold up. Wait a second. This is actually kind of cool. I could jump super high. Okay. I guess this is okay for now. I can't tell if I'm possessed by entity 303 and he's inside of my body or, oh, never mind. I guess he's gone. They did it again. They did it again. What the heck, dude? What is that sound? Okay. I don't know if it was just because I was entity 303, but I don't know. Something sounded weird. I can hear the blood going but it sounded a little bit different. I'm starting to get a little bit creeped out, but that's not going to stop me. I have a mission. Let's go ahead and spawn in the next exhibit, Siren Head. We might as well also spawn in Shy Guy next too. And let's see, let's get also a Huggy Wuggy. I think we just spawned in three of the most popular horror characters to ever exist. Let's go track them down, boys. Ooh, oh, cool, it's Shy Guy. Okay, whatever you do, do not look Shy Guy in the face. Bad things will happen if you do. Hey, what's up, dude? Gonna be okay, all right? Everything's gonna be fine. Just don't look at me. I 
might need to change my pants. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is, is why you don't look at Shy Guy. Don't look at Shy Guy. Okay, let's just go say hi to Huggy Wuggy. Huggy Wuggy loves giving out hugs. Huggy Wuggy, I could really use a hug right about now. Just be nice, okay? Okay, this Huggy Wuggy looks really, really creepy. I remember when it first came out, I thought it looked a lot like Big Bird, who also used to creep me out when I was younger. I thought to myself, well, how could a bird be so big and so fluffy? And then I was even more confused when I went to a zoo and I saw an ostrich. How does that thing even exist? So with that being said, uh, welcome to the zoo. Hope you guys have a great stay. Uh, have, have yourself a cookie and I'm gonna be on my way. This zoo is getting creepier by the minute. But the best part is we are making more money by the minute too. Everybody is absolutely loving it. Okay, let's go check this out. What the? Um, excuse me, sir. Do, what, do not walk up there. Do you not understand? This is Siren Head. He's like a class four threat. These actually kind of look like baby Siren Heads. Look at these weird little dudes. All right. Oh, yo, what are you doing in there? Okay. All right. This is exactly what you're not supposed to do. Um, oh, okay. All right. We gotta, we gotta just take care of this. Get, no, you, no, 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 no. I had to do it. We really need to start hiring security, especially with Siren Heads. What are you doing? Stop. Hey, Betty, when you get a chance, I need you to hire security. We definitely have enough money. Check it out, guys. We have 6,500 coins, which means we can definitely afford the Blood Villager. And we can also get SCP-001. I think this might be the first ever SCP. And we have a little bit of leftover money in order to get assimilated mobs. I have no idea what that means, and I'm not sure I want to find out. Ooh. Okay, so this is SCP-001. Oh my gosh. It looks disgusting. Look at these chunky guys. Okay, I just got to make sure not to get too close. I'm pretty sure they don't have have eyeballs. So as long as I'm pretty quiet, I don't think they can hear me. <laughs> look, look, they have no idea where I am. <laughs> if I had to guess, these guys probably smell like skunks mixed with trash can mixed with a turd, but that's just a guess. And right next door, we have the assimilated Minecraft mobs, which are basically just parasites. Now they look friendly enough. Ew, dude, I don't like this one bit. Oh my God, what is that? It kind of looks like a Wendigo. And then we have Steve. If Steve was possessed by the demons. I don't even know which demons, just all the demons. Well, it seems like you guys are nice and comfy here. Um, even the sheep. Oh, I thought the sheep was normal. Nope, it is not. It's British. And I'm pretty sure there was one other exhibit around here that we bought. Oh, here it is. The Blood Villagers. Hey, what's up, fellas? So, uh, yeah, I heard you guys worship the devil and you guys love blood. Is this true? Oh, yep. He, he just confirmed it, I'm pretty sure. You guys have any, like, cool trades or anything? What about in here? <laughs> I just wanted to see if they had trades. Betty, I'm not gonna lie, you did an, an absolutely fantastic job getting the scariest Minecraft myths. Almost too good of a job. All right, let's go check out the next one. SCP-999. I actually think this one's friendly. If I remember correctly, SCP-999 is a giant slime that flops around. Oh, look at this. They're not scary at all. They're big and slimy and adorable. Look at that, they have like a giant smile on their face. I'm also 95% certain that this SCP makes everything around it happy, which is a nice change because everything else in this zoo has made me extremely terrified. I gotta start hanging around this SCP a lot more. Okay, just, just let me out. All right, guys, we have a ton of money to spend. We can get SCP-106. I'm pretty sure that's the old guy SCP who can make his own pocket dimension to trap me in for all of eternity. Sounds like a lovely guy. We can also get Slender Man. That's gonna be creepy. And let's also get In Silence. I wonder if this is another SCP. This place is awesome. Awesome. There's so many people everywhere. Well, I guess not people, ghosts, but their money's real. Ooh, check it out. It's the old man SCP. Let's go inside and, uh, all right. Yeah, you know, he seems cool. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, looks like you could probably use a little bit of moisturizer. Ah! 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 Let me go. Let me go. What are, you, what, what are you doing? Dude, let me go. What the flip? Put me down. I'll give you cookies. Oh, God. Okay, 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 okay. Let me out of here. Give me the flip out of here. What the heck was that? All right, well, you are definitely worthy of being in the zoo. That is for sure. I didn't need you to prove that, but you did anyway. And it looks like a few of our new exhibits are over here. Yep, I see the big old Slender Man. Oh, what the? What even is that? Kind of want to touch it. Hey, what does that do? Doesn't really seem like much. Okay, overall, even though these guys look spooky, they haven't done anything to jump scare me. So I think they're my new favorite. You guys have yourself a slenderful day. I'm just gonna go this way. And the other one that we bought, <laughs> I honestly forget the name. What are these things? I think they were called In Silence. Okay, let's just head inside. Oh, wow, they walk on soul sand. Interesting. And they kind of look like a werewolf that lost its lower jaw. Uh, 
Hey, okay, are, are you friendly? Can can we just be, be cool? We're just gonna be chill with one another. All right, yeah, it seems like they like me. Even though they are probably the creepiest creatures in our entire zoo, they're actually quite friendly. I'll take it, dudes. Have yourselves a cookie-full day. Ladies and gentlemen, all things considered, I think that this is actually coming together as one of my best zoos of all time. I mean, at this point, what could go wrong? Coming up next, we can buy a baby witherstorm. Okay, that is flipping awesome. And we can also get a mutant zombie exhibit. And we have so much left over cash. Let's get Freddy Fazbear. Comment down below what you guys thought of the FNAF movie. I thought it was pretty good. Okay, since we're pretty much running out of room, I'm guessing all of these exhibits are gonna spawn way in the back. Ladies and gentlemen, follow me to our brand new three exhibits. Stay away from the old man, though. He's creepy. Oh, dudes, check this out. This looks sweet. It's actually Freddy Fazbear. Let's go, dude. Woohoo! What? Ah, what the shit? Why? Why? Okay, okay, I'm gone. Why did he give me full netherite and then jump scare me? I mean, I'll take the netherite, but don't do that again. I don't know what I was thinking. I've played too much FNAF to think that I wasn't going to get jump scared. And okay, so there should be, oh yeah, mutant mobs right around the corner. Hey, what's up there, big guys? Okay, I think this is just the mutant zombie. Me and the mutant zombie go way back. This was actually one of the first Minecraft mods that I ever installed. And usually these guys are a lot more hostile, but it seems like Betty found a way to make them a lot more peaceful. We love that. Good job, Betty. Have a good day, guys. And last but not at least. What? How did we get this? Okay, my cow Bessie definitely captured the wither storm because usually this thing eats my entire Minecraft world, but not this time. Oh, yeah, dude. What the fuck? No, 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 no. I didn't mean to hit you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, chill, 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 chill. chill. Just chill for two seconds. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, it's eating me. I can't escape it. Oh my goodness. What the heck is happening? Get, get off my booty. Oh my god. No, no, no. It's exploding everything. Just chill. Chill for two seconds. Uh, nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. It's fine. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here before I accidentally blow up the entire entire zoo. Every time I get near the blood golem, I just get this like creepy feeling. I don't know. Obviously they have some really weird sound effects, but it's kind of more than that. Like, it feels like something is in the trees. I don't know. Like, what is that up there? Luckily, I have all of these ghosts around me, so I'm not that worried. And we now have over $20,000, so I could definitely afford to get a blood vessel exhibit. I didn't even know that was a thing. And we could also get a skibbity exhibit. Of course, we have to have skibbity in our zoo. And that means there's probably only one or two more exhibits left. Hello there, Mr. Clowns. Ooh, what's this one? Hello. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, yep. All right. Okay. Yep. These are the blood vessels. All right. Let's check them out. Hey there, little guys. Um, so you should not be possible. Blood vessels should be like inside of your body and stuff. <laughs> no, 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 no. Please get off me. Please. I don't want to ride on you. Please. Please. Oh God. This is so weird. I don't like it. It literally won't let me go. Oh God. Oh, I'm going to pop a blood vessel. Oh, 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 okay. Um, I killed it. I had to do what I had to do. All right, just keep your weird blood vessel-y tentacles away from my body. Ah, uh, dudes, that creeped me out. I don't like that. I don't like blood. And if we come around the corner here, oh, this is definitely Skibbity Toilet. I know Skibbities when I see them. Hey, Skibbities. Okay, it seems like these are low-level Skibbities, which is fine. G-Man isn't here or any of the higher-level guys. I'm gonna leave. And wow, these villagers have been busy. Busy filling up my bank account. Let's go ahead and spend that on scary stuff. Steve. How scary could Steve be? And wait, guys, the next exhibit I can get is Hero Bride himself. That's gonna be my main attraction. First things first, let's go check out the brand new Scary Steve exhibit. Hey, what's up, Steve? Can I get inside? Is this broken? Okay, that's probably not up to code anymore. Let's go ahead and just patch that up. You guys saw nothing. Ooh, ooh, what the? Angry Steve said, I will help keep Hero Brian in line. Hop on my back. But what are you talking about? I don't even have Hero Brian. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the? Whoa. Oh my. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. I'm not, I'm not gonna look on your face. We'll get you a paper bag for that. Don't worry. What does he mean? He'll help me keep Herobrine in check. Giant Alex also said something weird about Herobrine, didn't she? Excuse me. Pardon me. Yes, I gotta get through. We have a Herobrine problem to deal with. Steve has definitely seen better days. I mean, I really hope Steve was lying about Herobrine, but let's go ahead and find out in three, two, one. Herobrine. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, where did Giant Steve go? Uh, wait, why did it turn nighttime? Is this the Herobrine exhibit? Oh my god, dude, wait a second. It actually is Herobrine. Let's go. <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, what's up, Herobrine? I mean, he can't be worse than like the old man or Five Nights at Freddy's, right? He seems fine. What the? What was that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, what the? Did he just summon in a phantom? Oh my god. Yo, I'm getting damaged. I'm not supposed to be able to get damaged in my own zoo. What the? I don't even have any weapons. I need to go get scary mutant Steve back. Even though I didn't really like looking at his face, I'm sure he 
you could probably help. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is Hero Brian doing out of its exhibit? Holy smokes, dudes. This isn't good. This isn't good. Betty, we got a code Hero Brian. Call Bessie. I think Betty's possessed. Oh, sick, dude. Okay, when I'm riding on the back of Giant Steve, I should be able to shoot out explosive bats. I think it's working. Oh, I see Hero Brian. Yes, dude. Here we go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Get down here, you ugly chunk. Okay, okay. All right. Hero Brian is a lot more powerful than I thought he'd be. What was I thinking? Adding Hero Brian to my zoo? Hero Brian already scared away all of my customers. I'm not making any more money. This is terrible. Hero Brian only has a little bit more health left. We're almost there. Eat my bats, Hero Brian. Oh, come on. Yes. We can do this. We did it. And check it out. All of the customers are coming back. Zach has his very own little snake, just like I have a bearded dragon on my head. <laughs> Well, we made it inside. To start off, clear the area by using the clear tile tool from trees and bushes to create space for your new zoo. You can now fly. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is going to be the area where I'm going to be opening the Beck Bro Zoo. If you guys want to try this out for yourselves, by the way, be sure to check out the link in the description below to download Zoo Builder today. I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. Okay, so, oh, no, it's moving. It's on my head and it's moving. <laughs> How am I gonna do this? Okay, with my, my new challenge is to try to go through this entire video with my bearded dragon Tuco on my head. All right, so we're gonna clear out these tiles. Easy enough. Wait, this is actually so cool. So it seems like this entire area is separated into different uh, blocks. Zach said, excellent. We can start out for real. Let's create some sand roads for our visitors. I'm guessing the visitors will come in here and this will be the first thing that they see. So if I go over to the different types of things, we can go over to roads, go over to the theme and then change it to sand. And then now I can place the different tiles so I can kind of just oh my gosh okay so I can click and drag this is the most satisfying thing ever that was easy this still looks a little bland though add birch trees and road decorations to create some atmosphere all right so we're gonna continue to balance the bearded dragon on my head which is totally not clawing me right now and we're gonna go over to the trees so it looks like in your hot bar you can go through every single different one of the decorations and also the enclosures so if I want to place it here we just uh we might, we might actually need to bomb it first so we use our clear tile never mind we do not not. Oh, never mind. Okay, so we go to uh, place tile, and there we go. So it actually gives you a little tiny area where it's going to place. And there we go. We got a birch tree, and we got another birch tree. Place a medium-sized desert enclosure. Use the rotate tile tool to rotate the enclosure so it fits the area. Okay, I don't know if I can... It's moving more. It's on the side of my head. What am I supposed to do? What if it poops? I managed to get it to my shoulder, so we should be okay for at least a couple minutes. Okay, now we have a desert-themed enclosure. So we can change the appearance. Let's go over... I think we want to actually do the large appearance. All right, I guess medium works. So we're going to place it right in here. We're going to rotate it though so that it can actually fit. And then we're going to place it. And there we go. So this is the desert enclosure. And as you guys can probably tell, we're missing out on, well, uh, animals. So if I go back to the creative menu, we can spawn in the different animals. But it looks like it only pops up the animals that you can spawn in once you're inside of the enclosure. So I can spawn in a couple scorpions. <laughs> and I guess love two camels in here as well. Hello, animals. What's up, little scorpions? Wait, we can breed the animals together? Okay, so we're gonna go back to the creative menu. Oh, it's touching me. And if we go directly outside of our enclosure, we should be able to look at the lectern to see what the animals like. All of our visitors can see it. Oh, it's clawing my neck. Oh, it's going to the other, other shoulder. Other shoulder. It's just, it's just hanging on. Okay, so in order to breed it together, oh, it looks like, oh, it's climbing on my arm. Okay, it's just, it's gonna be on my arm for the rest of the video. Okay, so we need to find some wheat. So I think I can actually just go into the creative menu and grab some wheat. Let's see if this works. So we have one camel here. What's up, little camel? And we do another camel over here. Now we have baby camel. Yes, science. It looks so cute. Look at it. It's got two little humps. Okay, let's continue this by placing three more sand roads. We have a lot of area to cover. So you can actually select other tiles that you've already used. So if I use a select tool on this, I can go over here. What? My, it just jumped. My lizard jumped. He's escaping, ladies and gentlemen. Don't worry. I put him back. We're safe. Let's continue our ginormous Beck Bro Zoo by placing three more sand roads. Go to tap it off. Let's add in an ice cream shop. Yes. Wait, do they have cookie shops? I don't know, but we're going to go to the buildings and then we're going to change the theme over to restaurants. And then if we go through, we should be able to change it to the ice cream shop. And I think it looks good. Okay, the entrance is at the front now. And there we go. We have an instant ice cream shop. Currently, we don't have any people working here, but don't worry. I will fix that in a little. It looks like Zachary wants me to come over and talk to him for a little bit. What's up, Zach? Oh, 
we said that we're pretty much ready to start out the zoo by ourselves. The bigger that our zoo gets, the more visitors will come. It is now my objective, ladies and gentlemen, to become the biggest, best zoo the world has ever seen. Wait, he deleted all my stuff. What the flip, dude? Oh. <laughs> Wait, I can pop the balloons. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is the start. So we're gonna do a little stone. Wait, is this... Where'd you come from? What the heck? Who... who wait... Oh, wait, they're spawning in. The big nose villagers. So these must be my visitors. We right now have two visitors. So the more things that I place down and the more enclosures that I build for people to actually look at, the more people will come. Okay, so I'm thinking we should have a really grand entrance. So they'll come in here and then there'll be like a little area for like the kids to play. Maybe a little park right there. Right now, the entrance to my zoo kind of looks like Squidward. That's okay. We're just getting everything together. So immediately when you walk in, there needs to be some sort of ice cream and milkshake shop. There we we go we got the milkshake shop and then directly on the other side we will have the ice cream shop so the first thing they can do as soon as they get inside is buy milkshakes or ice cream that'll get them in a nice happy mood ladies and gentlemen then when they walk over here there should be some trees and then our first enclosure so we can go ahead and put a little bonsai tree garden right at the start i like it actually right next to the ice cream shop we might be able to have a little petting zoo that is my favorite thing to do when i get to the actual zoo is go straight to the either aquarium or the petting zoo so let's try to place that there so when people People come in they can get milkshakes ice cream they can go over to the tree if they would like or they can go over here to the petting zoo now for every single enclosure that i make i need to make sure that i'm actually spawning in the different animals if i go to spawn animals we can have llamas in here that are going to spit in people's faces that's okay though we'll have a little chicken farm going some sheepies maybe a cow or two. Oh, we got a little baby and also pigs so this is literally just like a farm we're only having one llama and his name is gonna be llama mama jama do not spit on anybody please this is a great start look we're already at 24 visitors Oh, we got 25. Let's go. What's up there, little Timmy? Big nose Timmy. <laughs> I think he's going to go with his dad and get some milkshakes, or they're going to just dance on the milkshake table. I'm not entirely sure what this thing is. Whoa. Okay, so it's like some sort of road decoration. So I guess this is like a little jungle gym that uh, somebody can play on. That looks really, really cool. And it also adds to the symmetry. So now if I go over here and then we just plop down some more stone roads. Plop, 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 plop. Wait a second, I just realized too, you can add in fountains. These look nice. Oh, look at that, I found a chest over here. We have a buggy. I think these spawn right at the front, so you can actually use these in order to ride around your zoo. Okay, but now I want to go ahead and kind of section off every single area. So like, if they go over here to the left, this will be like the desert area. So we'll add in some desert roads starting over here. And then what I could do is go ahead and look at the different type of enclosures that are desert themed. So I guess we can go ahead and try to add in a medium sized savanna enclosure. Here goes nothing. Oh my gosh, okay, it worked. So let's pick this tile and then we can extend it a little bit over here. And now let's go inside and see what type of animals can be in the savanna. Oh my gosh, we have so many. Okay, so I don't know exactly if I wanna put them all in the one enclosure. Like maybe we could have different ones. So this one could be lions. And I guess rhinos as well. I feel like they'll get along. Wildebeest too. I normally see them in any safari that I'm on. I just need to make sure to not put anything that the lions can eat. So I'm pretty sure lions and cheetahs get along. And I guess we could add one koala bear that could just try to climb and run away. Wait, they're fighting. No, the lions are fighting. No, 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 wait a second. This is literally just like Zoo Tycoon. I would always spawn in all the animals together in Zoo Tycoon and they would all just fight. So I guess the lions may need to have an enclosure to themselves. Also the cheetahs too. Poor koala bear. He just got wrecked. He was so young. Oh, the wild lion just pounced at the bewilderbeast. Oh no, they're all teaming up on the rhino. Oh, what have I done? I feel so bad. They were just, they were just cute little animals and they got eaten alive by the vicious cheetahs and the lions. Luckily, it seems like those two get along together. So we're just gonna leave this as cheetahs and lions. I guess over in this corner could be a good area to add in a playground. There we go. So you can play around and then watch the lions and the cheetahs. Oh, this looks good. You could actually add in different types of little flowers and then we could add in a little pond too. This is amazing. There's like so many different customizations. I completely forgot too. In every single zoo, they have an area where you can get information about the zoo. So I guess that'll be this building over here. So if they want to come in, they can obviously, or actually they have to buy a milkshake or ice cream. Those are the rules of the Beck Bro Zoo. And then if they want more info about the zoo, they can come over here. And then we have pictures of everything available. I guess every zoo as well needs some bathrooms. So we have to add them so people can do their number one and number two. This looks very sanitary. We got 50 visitors. We're doing it. I think right here would be a good spot. And actually it's a t terrible spot for some bonsai trees because the people need to get over and see the information. Now we can also start adding in zoo borders if we want to, but I feel like there's already a very natural border around the side. So I don't think I want to add these. Like you can kind of add in fences if you want to, but I don't think I'm going to have any enclosures or like fences around my zoo. 
And then I think over here, we can try to add in a massive desert enclosure. I think it should fit right there. This thing is huge. Okay, let's make sure that people have a little walkway so that they can come up and see all the animals that I put inside. I guess we can add in some llamas. But the main things in here are gonna be lots and lots of camels. People love camels. And scorpions, because that's exactly what I want to see in, the, in a zoo enclosure, scary scorpions. Normally, they're not out and about, but I guess in my Minecraft zoo, they're gonna be in ginormous enclosures. We're gonna make this into like a camel scorpion city. This will now be known as Camelback Mountain. finished this side or at least we have a lot of different animals over here we have lions we have cheetahs we have tigers and then we also have camel mountain that also coincidentally has scorpions so i think what we're gonna do is expand over in this side so we're gonna need to figure out what type of road we want to expand with i think a good gravel road will do the trick so i think we can kind of expand right from here that actually looks so cool okay so we actually need to clear out some of these tiles as well so anytime you see like grass or trees you can use this bomb block in order to to clear it out. I also forgot to mention too, if you guys do want to try this map out for yourself, there's going to be a download linked in the description below. Okay, the gravel path actually looks so good. Now let's expand it a little bit so that we have area for a brand new enclosure. I'm going to bop these down, give a little boop, bop, beep, boop. Okay, and after I place down this enclosure, we are going to try to put my bearded dragon Tuco on my head for the rest of the video. So far, it seems like he's chilling out. I'm apparently a really good heating pad that keeps him nice and warm. And I'm actually thinking maybe we could look for some sort of enclosure that has lizards. So here we go. Let's look through the enclosures. So we have a couple different themes that we have jungle. We have forest mesa. The mesa biome actually might have some. We're going to go ahead and make this one super big. I think this is going to be our biggest enclosure yet. Okay, we're going to plop it down in three, two, one. Oh, that looks so cool. Okay, let's go over here and see what type of animals we can actually spawn in. So we have, uh, wait, have I already done this? Scorpions, elephants? No, okay, we can have elephants, camels, and also scorpions too. So let's go ahead and we will add in the animals. So I need to go back to the creative menu, spawn animals animals and now we officially have an elephant enclosure i don't know if i can add in scorpions because i'm pretty sure that the elephants would crush the scorpions and i also found out too that we can have baby versions of these so if i feed them food they should actually have babies and i guess we can have our token set of camels in here as well sorry camels i have some bad news you're actually adapted and i guess we'll try one scorpion good luck mr scorpion okay so let's see what they actually eat oh tuka tuka he's got sharp nails and he's trying to climb up to my head i guess he actually he wants to go up to my head all right we're gonna do this for whatever reason my head is his favorite spot. All right, it happened. Here we go. So the elephant likes to eat wheat. It does not like big cats. So we need to make sure that there's no big cats in here. I think I can just grab wheat from the creative menu and let's try to breed two together. So we have one elephant here, one elephant there. For whatever reason, the, the camels really seem to like it. Here you go. Let's, let's make some baby camels. Little baby camel. Yes, we have a little baby camel. I don't think the elephants are super hungry right now. So let's go ahead and move over to the next enclosure. So we can actually pick this tile and we can make like a little area in between so that people can go up to the elephant enclosure and see inside of it a little bit better and also get some information. But right next to it, I want to put another enclosure. Okay, this one, we need to find something with lizards. I don't know if there's anything that actually has it, but if there is, we're going to find it. Okay, so the theme, maybe jungle, actually. Let's try to do like a little tiny jungle. Okay, so if we do small, that actually, it fits pretty well. Let's bob that and then we can go ahead and add in the jungle enclosure in three two, one. Uh, let's see what kind of animals we can have. Okay, so we can have tigers, gorillas, monkeys, pandas, and ocelots. Still no lizards. That's okay though. We're definitely gonna find it. All right, so this one, um, I'm thinking this one, I don't wanna have tigers. We already have tigers. This one could be monkeys and gorillas. Okay, we're gonna have two gorillas and then a lot of monkeys. Look, so many monkeys. Actually, fun fact, the monkeys in the exhibits at the zoo when I was younger, they were my favorite ever. I used to actually go up to the monkeys with like peacock feathers and I would literally put it inside of the exhibit and we would have a tug of war. It was me versus the gorillas and the monkeys. Comment down below who you think won. And I guess we can also have just one single panda bear in here and one single ocelot. Tuco is just chilling on my head right now. You guys can like kind of get a good look, but dude, he, I really hope he doesn't poop. He does kind of poop a lot. Okay. So it looks like, yeah, they all do not like tigers. So I'm not going to spawn a tiger in there. Let's see what the monkeys eat. Cause I really want to get like a tiny little cap Pooch and monkey. They eat apples. Why would they not just eat bananas? I guess probably because there's no bananas in Minecraft, so you can't really have it eat bananas. Hello there, little capuchin. There you go. Okay, so we're gonna. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Go, 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 go. Give me a little baby monkey. Did it work? Yo! That is the cutest little thing I've ever seen. What? Wait, I'm surrounded. I'm getting surrounded by monkeys. We're gonna have so many little baby monkeys. What about gorillas? The gorillas are going nuts. I don't know what I did. Tuco, Tuco, you better stay on my head because we're, we're, we're kind of getting a little bit out of control here. I think we're safe. Okay, okay. I get it. I get it. Yes. Oh, I gotta get out of here. Dude, they're literally swarming. 
warming. I have no clue how this enclosure actually keeps the monkeys and the gorillas in because I swear they can just climb right over. It reminds me of the enclosures from Madagascar where they had like really, really low walls and the animals could literally just hop over them. Like as soon as I leave the zoo, all of the animals are probably going to get together and then they're going to plot on how they can escape. All right, Tuka, what are we thinking next, little buddy? He obviously can't talk, but I can tell exactly what he's thinking. We have that telepathic connection. Okay, but in order to add the next exhibit, we're going to need to make just a couple more gravel paths. Okay, that looks good. And I think I want to add this just to make the gravel path a little bit thicker. And then I kind of like all the nature over here. So I want to see if maybe I can add in like a little secret exhibit back here that most of the visitors probably won't see. Wait, we got 100 visitors. Let's go. Yo, that's sick. We did it. We're actually like making a successful zoo. All of my years of zoo tycoon are finally paying off. Okay, so this will be the path to the little tiny secret zoo. We're going to make it all the way over here in this corner. We're going to get rid of all of these spruce trees. Tuco, what's going on? It looks like he's about to jump. Please do not jump on my camera. Guys, I'm getting a little bit nervous here. Okay, okay, we got it. We got to clear this out a little bit faster than I anticipated. Okay, okay, we're going to put a giant enclosure back here. Tuco, I know exactly what you want. Don't even worry. Okay, we're going to go to enclosures. We're going to go back and we're going to try to put a forest. Appearance? Absolutely. Actually, we can't do that. Appearance? Absolutely medium. Oh, this looks sick. Okay, we're going to place it there and let's see what sort of animals we can have. They already found it. This dude literally ran over here as soon as he saw the new exhibit. I guess I have some diehard fans. Okay, let's see what animals we can have. What, zebra, tiger, elephant, cheetah, lion, rhino, wildebeest, a koala bear, a fox, an otter, and a giraffe. Tuco, I'm so sorry. I don't think there's lizards. Since it's only medium size, I'm thinking I should probably only have medium size animals that don't need a lot of space. So a lot of these I really can't use. But what I'm thinking, we could have a little koala area. There you go, little koala bears. I'm 99% certain that koala bears sleep like 95% of the day. So we might as well add in something else as well, like foxes. These guys are super agile and they should probably run around a lot so the visitors will get super excited. And I guess sea otters too, since we have a little pond in the middle. And I guess we can add in one single zebra to rule over them all. He will be king of all of the forest animals. Oh, this looks great. Okay, there we go. Look, wait, 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 where'd the bumblebee come from? Now I need to figure out a way to hide this a little bit better so only the diehard fans like this man here with a giant squidward nose finds it. So if I go to vegetation, we change the theme. Let's see, can I add like a ginormous pond? I think I can. Okay, let's just plop it down there. That looks so sick. Yo, did somebody leave their child? Is there is there a lost and found? Do I, little dude, do you, do you know where your parents are? Squidward, Squidward, buddy, where, where are you running off to? Actually, get lost, Squidward. Get the heck out of here. I don't even care. There's literally just little children running around, but that means that they love my place, and it's the safest zoo in the entire world. Tuco is moving again. Tuco is literally facing the camera. I think he's getting really, really excited. If you guys haven't already smashed like, Tuco will jump at you and steal all your cookies. What is he doing? What is he doing? He looks like he's gearing up for something, but maybe a, a giant escape. No, no, no. Oh, that's my ear. That is my ear. <laughs> he's making his escape. Oh, no. No, 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 no. He's climbing down. I don't know what to do, guys. I, I really... Look, he's trying to escape. He's scratching me. I have lowered him back to my head. We are safe for now. We must continue adding in more enclosures. Can I add a little tiny one right here? Oh, okay. I can. All right. So we're going to have to clear out a little bit of this area. Sorry, pond. Sorry, little trees. And now we should be able to add it in right here after I get rid of this. And there's a couple people there. So you guys are now... Oh, wait. They get teleported away. Okay. That's probably for the best. I thought they were just going to be like a part of the exhibit. But here we have the wetlands, which kind of actually works out since we're right next to the swamp pond that I spawned in. So inside of here, we can have chickens, flamingos, otters, wildebeests, and more chickens. I actually think that I'm able to decorate this too. So in future episodes, I could go through all the different exhibits and decorate them. But for now, Huko is starting to get really anxious. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make sure that we spawn in all the different animals. We're going to have a little flamingo pond. Fun fact, I'm pretty sure flamingos are pink because of the, the shrimp that they eat. They eat so many shrimp that they turn pink. You could also have a sea otter park here. I don't know if a wildebeest is going to fit. Oh, actually, it's not as big as I thought. So we can have two wildebeest. Dude, they're like giant puppies. So they'll kind of just hang out on top of these little tiny stone mountains. And then we'll have a chicken who'll be an undercover spy. Chicken, if anything bad happens, you report back to me. I also want to have an area where people can kind of just hang out. So let's go ahead and add that in right here. Oh, this is so cool. So people can get some snacks from when they initially come in at the milkshake shop or the ice cream shop. That is the only food I plan to put inside of this entire park. And then they can kind of just like chill out and they can look at the animals right over here. It's perfect. Oh, looks like it works. 
work this time. Tuco's back. All right, Tuco, we got a lot of things to do. It was actually Tuco's idea to add in massive aquariums today. Since we don't have lizards, I think the closest equivalent animal is going to be just any sort of sea creature. A lot of lizards are actually pretty much like semi-aquatic creatures. They're really, really great swimmers, and Tuco is too. Every time I put him in the bathtub, he just twirls his tail around like a propeller. So I think it would be cool if at the center of the entire zoo, we sort of just had like one of each type of exhibit. And the first one I want to place is a ginormous aquarium. So let's see if this works. We're going to go back to the creative menu. We're going to change our type into enclosures. And we already have the aquarium at the ready. Okay, this thing is going to be massive. Tuka, Tuka, he, he, he's leaving. I don't think he likes the aquarium. Uh, okay. Oh, I guess. Tuka, do you like it here? Well, he's not trying to run away. So we're going to place it in three, two, one. This is our brand new Beck Bro Aquarium. Out, Tuka. He's scratching. He's scratching me. And great. He made his way back to my head. Well, that's not exactly the area that I had in mind, but Tuco kind of forced my hand. So we're going to have to make it work. Okay, what we can do is add in some tiles over here to go right in front of the aquarium. And then we'll have to fill in the little areas a little bit later. But this is the biggest aquarium. Wait, this is actually super cool. So it looks like at like the sides, there's actually like mini aquariums all the way around. There's little tiny fish. In there. Oh, no, 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 no. I broke it. Wait, this says brown stained glass. Is that not blue? Even Tuco is very confused. Tuco, Tuco. Ah, why does he do this? He's escaping. He's escaping. It's a prison break. Oh God. Okay. Okay. He's trying to jump on the microphone. Tuco, we're trying to build an aquarium. What is happening? What is back on my head? Okay. Back, back, back on my head. There we go. Okay. Cool. I think he's content there. He has never pooped on my head, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if today was that day. So let's actually see what other animals we're able to add into the biggest aquarium. So let's go back to the animals. It looks like there's actually a couple ones. So we already have a ton of fish inside, but we can actually add in sharks. Tuco, should I do it? Let's do it. Oh, okay. So I'm not entirely sure if the sharks will eat the fish. Every single aquarium that I've been to, it normally... <laughs> Okay, 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 I get it, I get it. You don't like the shark. That's fine. I guess we'll have to spawn in a couple sea turtles too. They're they're kind of the similar color as you. They're green. So hopefully Tuco likes the sea turtles. But if not, I guess we can go over here and we can make this a dolphin pool. Oh, Tuco hates dolphins. He's running again. This is an absolute mad lizard right now. He's going crazy. Tuco, we, we got we got bigger and badder things to, to worry about other than escaping, okay? That's a good little bearded dragon. Okay, sweet. So when the visitors come inside, they'll see the sea turtles, they'll also to see the little tiny shark. And then if they go over here, they can see the dolphin exhibit. Now, I wonder if we're actually able to breed them together. So it said that they like to eat raw cod. So if we go over here and right click on them, let's see if we can actually make a little baby dolphin. They're definitely eating the fish, but I'm not entirely sure if they're gonna make a baby. I'm also a little bit curious to see if the the, the dolphins will get along with the sharks. Okay, Tuco, fine. I won't do it. I won't do it. I was just gonna test it, but I'm not gonna do it now. Tuco is feeling awfully sassy today. He is currently planning an escape. I can see him. He's just kind of on my desk right now. So if I run away screen you guys know why. But okay, so we have the big aquarium right now. I kind of want to surround it with a bunch of other sea aquatic creatures. So if we go back to the enclosures, right, we can actually make a mini aquarium if we wanted. Let's place it down and see what it looks like. So this isn't really the best. Actually, it is pretty cool though, because you can walk through the middle. It's almost like a shark tunnel. Wait, we can actually turn it into a shark tunnel. Okay, okay, that's the brand new idea. Okay, so I guess um we can leave it there and it can almost be like a transition from this section to the next section. Tuco has currently jumped onto my lap. He's crawling down my leg. I have captured him. He's now under arrest. Oh my gosh, he's... Okay, okay. Tuco is going in timeout. Okay, now that we've dealt with that, we can uh, officially place down the small aquarium. So what I'm thinking is, right, we can have this sort of be just like a little transition. Where people can go up to it and they can sort of like walk through. And then this will lead over here to the big aquarium. Okay, I think this looks pretty cool. So you walk through this little area and then it leads you to like the next section of the park, which over here will have the massive aquarium. And then we also cannot forget to go to the spawn animals. And then we need to put just tons of sharks inside. Oh my gosh, bro. This is going to be so cool. Every time when I was a kid and I would go to the aquarium, the sharks were easily my favorite thing. So I need to make sure that every single little kid that is in this park knows that this is the place to see the sharks. It's very possible that it's too many sharks. And it also looks like there might be like a diving board. But uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to probably, yeah, I'm going to put up a sign. 10 cookies to swim with sharks. Okay, now if any little kids walk up here, they'll know that they need to put 10 cookies in my bank account in order to swim with the sharks. I'm kind of curious what would be in a bamboo enclosure. I don't know if it fits with the theme, but we're going to see in three, two, one. 
Okay, let's check what kind of animals we can put in here. We can put monkeys, pandas, red pandas, and ocelots. I don't really know if that's what I'm going for. Okay, we're gonna get rid of this, and then let's go ahead and we're gonna change it over to a snow enclosure. Okay, let's see what we're able to put inside of this. So if we go back to the animals, we can put seals, polar bears, and penguins. That's perfect. And it goes with the theme of the aquariums, too. So I'm not entirely sure if they'll all get along, but we'll put a couple seals over on this side. We'll put the penguins on top of Penguin Mountain. And then we'll put one polar bear over here. He can go over there and, like, drink Coca-Cola's way. Is he going for the seals? It looks like he's kind of, yep, he's going directly for the seals. So I'm not entirely sure. We're probably not going to be able to have seals in here. Actually, the seals are able to swim. So the polar bear is just going to play a game of Marco Polo with all of the swimming creatures. Well, good luck, seals and penguins. This polar bear is literally just going to be busy all day, every day. I also want to switch up the paths here. For whatever reason, I'm not entirely a huge fan of the stone paths. It just doesn't look supernatural. Like in most zoos that I've been to, they kind of have the stone paths when you first go in, and then the paths sort of change. Most of them are like dirt roads or gravel roads. So I'm a big fan of this dirt road here. I think the polar bear just gave up. He stands no chance for the mountain of seals and also penguins. I think it might look cool to add in some flower decorations around the area as well. Oh sweet, we just got 150 videos visitors. By the way, if you guys do want to try this out for yourselves, there'll be a download link to this map in the marketplace in the description. So I really like these flowers too, just because they're blue and they sort of match with the next section of the park. We could also add in a couple trees over here to sort of block off the aquarium so that they know they have to go through this area in order to get to the massive aquarium. And then at the center of the park, I'm thinking I can add in a giant food station. Like around the map right now, I don't think that we have many food places. We obviously have milkshakes and we have ice cream sundaes. Obviously, that's like the best food in the entire world, but I'm pretty sure people would die if that's all that they were able to eat. So we might have to switch it up a little bit. So over here, I'm going to start what should be a giant eating station. So we'll have this blue food cart that has cookies. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. I got a little excited. And then over here we can do. Oh, I actually like this one. This one has all the different meats and this one has the desserts. It could be cool to have an exhibit right in the center so people can like eat their food and then watch different animals. But I want to make it kind of like a tiny exhibit. Or wait a second, we could add in a little playground area too. And then on the sides here, we can add in more dirt roads. And I think we might need to move these just a little bit back. I'm so sorry, dude. He was probably buying cookies. Don't worry, the cookie shop will be back. Here you are, fine gentlemen. Go buy all the cookies your heart desires. Uh, um, that never happened. If the FBI is watching this, forget that ever happened. I, I didn't mean it. Ooh, wait, what is this? There's like a Viking themed restaurant. Wait, this is actually starting to come together a little bit. Okay, so to get to the next section, you walk through the, the shark wall aquarium. You come out here and you have a big aquarium to your left, or you can go see a polar bear chase around all different types of animals. If you're a young child like myself, you can go on the swing set. And then afterwards, when you're tired, you can come over here and buy all the cookies your heart desires. Currently, there's nobody working there, but we'll fix that shortly. Hello, sir, may I take your order? You said you wanted a stack of cookies? Well, that's too dang bad, they're mine! Oh, <coughs> sorry, sorry, sir. Um, yeah, I'll give you just actually no, you're not allowed to have any cookies. What I will give you is a bucket of salmon. Enjoy. <laughs> enclosure over here and I have just the perfect idea. So uh, what I want to do is add in this gravel road that will lead over to this giant jungle section. Let's actually surround this little desert enclosure with the rest of the sandstone roads so that it's all disconnected. Now when go to go Tuko, what are you doing? What are you? Tuko, Tuko, chill, chill, chill. Ah, he's on my ear. Oh my gosh, he's escaping. I don't think Tuko was a fan of me putting down the sandstone roads. Oh my gosh, he's on my face. <laughs> It's just, oh, he's everywhere. Tuco, I'm just trying to build a jungle enclosure, man. This lizard is crazy. Oh, no, 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 no. I think we're safe. Okay, before he plans his grand escape, let's go try to add in our first jungle enclosure. We're gonna make this thing absolutely massive. It's actually so big that we're gonna need to clear out some of these trees and also the little tiny patches of grass. Okay, now we should be able to place it down right here in three, two, one. Yo, this thing is huge. Uh, little Timmy, do you love it? I actually, okay, uh, you guys did not see that. Oh, let's go inside and see what kind of animals we can add. Please don't jump, Tuco. Tuco, be a good lizard. Be a good co-host. Okay, okay, let's act uh, a little bit quicker here. Let's go to the spawn animal section. So we can add in tigers, gorillas, monkeys, pandas, and ocelots. Ah! <laughs> Tuco is now just sitting on my lap. 
While he's calmed down, let's go ahead and add in everything but the tigers. I feel like everything else should, should probably hopefully get along. If I added in a tiger though, it's definitely gonna eat every other animal. So let's add in a couple gorillas. The gorillas should hopefully get along with the monkeys. And in this section over here, we can add in pandas. A couple, wait, I just got a double panda. But a couple of you guys were commenting that you wanted to see red pandas. Unfortunately, I don't know if there's any red pandas. And then over in this section, we can add in a couple ocelots. Wait, we got baby ocelots. Oh, Tuco's making a run. <laughs> I got him. Nope, nope, stay. This man really has to just take a chill pill. Let's get lots of gorillas in here. We will nickname this enclosure Gorilla City. Yes! Oh no, Tuco, why? Somebody must have accidentally given Tuco some sort of caffeine. The man is running around like an absolute maniac. So we have our first jungle enclosure. Let's go add in something that I've been meaning to add for a very, very long time. Tuco, what are you doing? Okay, okay, Tuco's going back in timeout. Everybody say bye to Tuco, the crazy lizard. All right, now we can probably get some work done. Tuco is definitely the cutest co-host, but he is definitely not a very good co-host. Okay, so we have this, right? And there's been something that I haven't added yet to our zoo. If I go over to the type, we should be able to go over to enclosures, change the theme, and then go over here to this, the tropical garden. This thing is absolutely huge, and it's going to be such a perfect addition. So I kind of want it to be a secret back here, so in order to add it in, we're going to need to clear out all of these trees. Luckily, I don't feel too bad because I will be adding in some more trees later on. But hopefully that should be enough uh, space. And now right up against the back portion of the zoo, we can place down this giant tropical garden. Uh, this thing is going to be one of the coolest exhibits yet. All right, so let's go ahead and we're going to bop that. And we're going to boop it, boop it, boop it. So we need to add a little secret entrance all the way back here to the start of the tropical garden. Oh, because we added that, we just got 200 visitors. Now let me show you guys what the inside looks like. So it fits very, very well with our tropical jungle theme. Inside, it is basically a giant butterfly enclosure. Anytime I go to any sort of zoo, this is one of my favorite places because the butterflies are all flying around the room. It is so human inside. And sometimes they also have birds flying around. Let's see if I'm actually able to add in any other sorts of animals in here. Oh, we could actually add in snakes, scorpions, and parrots. I don't know if that's necessarily safe. Maybe I should add them over in this little section so that there's just not snakes running around where people can walk. So yeah, we'll add in, uh, I guess, a couple snakes over here. Oh, they have different colors too. That's sweet. Snake for you, snake for you, snake for you. Wow, that's actually, that's a lot of snakes. Hopefully nobody sneaks inside of there. And then there's another section over here because we put the biggest one possible to add in our scorpions. Scorpion, 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 scorpion. Well, hopefully our zookeepers are able to take care of the scorpions. And then all around here, it doesn't look like I'm actually able to spawn in more butterflies, but what I can do is spam parrots. Polly one parrot, Polly one crackers. There you go. Spawn them in, spawn them, spawn, 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 spawn. Bibbidi bobbidi bibbidi bobbidi bibbidi bobbidi bibbidi bobbidi bobbidi Okay, that should be enough. Oh my gosh. It's literally just like a, a, a bunch of rainbow creatures flying around. This is a, a, literally the, the best thing ever. And the cool thing is you can actually walk through the entire exhibit. That's right, young little Timmy. Go ahead inside of the giant tropical jungle garden. Do it, do it, kid. Do it, do it, do it. I don't want to punch him because then I'm pretty sure he just dies. Go, little Timmy. You can do it, little Timmy. No, where are you going? Where? Why are you running? Why are you running? All right, well, it looks like little Timmy and his dad are just being absolute plebs today. But somebody will come along and they will discover this amazing tropical garden. Wait a second. This could be really cool. So we have the jungle section. We have the giant tropical jungle section. And what we could do is add in a massive petting zoo. So let's see how that looks if I just kind of plop it down there. I think this looks sweet. Okay, so people that are coming along, they can look at all the different desert animals. They can go over here and look at uh, Gorilla City. They can go over to the Butterfly Parrot Paradise. Oh, wait a second. Okay, so this is actually two petting zoos sort of combined together. Actually, wait a second. It might be three. But the cool thing about this is that there's actually a walkway right through the center. So we should actually probably utilize that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get rid of that. And what I'm thinking we could do is maybe rotate this. And then it could lead into the next section of the zoo. So we're going to plop it down right there, and as you guys can see, the 
gravel trail sort of leads right up into the petting zoo. I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with this giant area right here. So if you guys have any uh, suggestions, just leave a comment down below. Am I able to add in a tiger here? Wait a second. Uh, that's probably not a good idea. The tiger is just stalking this man. So I actually, I didn't even realize I could pick out any of the animals and I could just spawn them in. Wait a second, I found red pandas. Oh, yes. Over here, I guess we'll have a little tiger king section where we'll have a petting zoo for tigers, lions, and maybe bears. Those are definitely not farm animals that should probably not be in petting zoos, but hopefully our zookeepers are able to do a good job and not let anybody die. We'll find out. But I know so many of you guys wanted to see red pandas and we could actually add them. Let's do it. Oh, yes. Wait a second, it works! This is amazing! Gorilla City and uh, Red Panda City have now combined into Gorilla and a City. <laughs> I wonder why the Red Pandas are so much tinier than the normal pandas. Why is this Gorilla and Panda kissing? I have so many questions. Okay, but let's go complete our petting zoo. If I place a pig in here, is this gonna... Are they gonna live in harmony? Can this be like a Disney movie where a tiger and a pig team up in order to take down some evil hippo? It honestly seems like it works. I also want to have a section of the petting zoo just dedicated to llamas. I remember when I was a kid and I went into a llama uh, petting zoo, the llamas just literally spit in my face. So I want to make sure every single kid that comes into the petting zoo knows my pain. Especially getting spit in the face by a baby llama. That will ruin llamas for the rest of their, their entire lives. Just in case some of the llamas- Oh wait, I can ride on the llama? What are you doing, llama? Just in case some of the llamas decide to be nice, let's spawn in a lot of llamas. I know at least one of them is going to be an absolute monster and spit on something. Wait a sec- Okay, I was about to say, where'd the pig go? But the pig and the tiger, they're actually getting along. When I was a kid too, I always wanted to go into the zoo parts that had zebras and giraffes. They would never let me though because they always told me that if they kicked me in the face, I would probably die. But now, since I'm my own zookeeper, I can literally make my dreams a reality. You see, if you can't do it in real life, you can definitely do it in Minecraft. Also the giraffes too. I remember going to multiple zoos and being very, very confused when the giraffe would stick out a tongue. I'm pretty sure they have blue tongues. I also don't think I've ever seen a draft near down like this. This is weird. Is it eating the leaves? I don't really know, but this is literally the best petting zoo ever. I also want you guys to comment down below some nicknames for our tiger pig Disney animal story. Also, wait. <laughs> What happened here? We got drafts on the loose. Do I, I, uh, where, we need security. I was not aware that I could spawn in the animals outside of the enclosures. I'm not even entirely sure how they escaped. Maybe they jumped from this barrel? I think the tiger and the zebras are currently trash talking each other. The tiger <laughs> really is trying to either eat the zebra or this little kid. Little kid, you having just an amazing time today? He looks like he's having literally just a blast. <laughs> Obviously, we already have pretty much every single enclosure, but Ranello L wanted me to add in a giant Arctic exhibit. So what I'm thinking what we can have is an aquatic zone and then also an ice zone with polar bears, penguins, and every other aquatic creature we can find. Tuko, how we doing up there? Do we like that idea? He's not moving or saying anything, which means he's very happy. He also just ate. So if you do see a turd on my head, please leave a comment down below to let me know. Okay, I think step number one is going to be to grab these tiles and then we're going to need to make a walkway all the way around our little restaurant exhibit. I really feel like it should be nice and symmetrical. So we're gonna pull from this side as well. And then we're just gonna bippity boppity bippity boppity. And I guess we can do a little bit of this in the back. Maybe eventually here I can add in some small exhibits or some trees or some shops. But okay, from here, I'm going to add a gravel little pathway over to this giant open section of the zoo. Now, before adding any more tiles, we're going to need to clear out this entire area so I can make absolute massive enclosures for so many animals to live in. We'll get this one, this one, this one, that one, and we'll boop this one. Oh, Tuco? Tuco, please chill. Not today. Don't do anything weird today. All right, we're gonna tread lightly, ladies and gentlemen. So next up, okay, no, I don't want restaurants, even though I am very hungry right now. We're gonna go to enclosures, we're gonna change it up, and then we're going to do a snow-themed enclosure. So I'm thinking we can have an absolutely massive one right there. And then if we rotate, rotate, we should be able to add in another one right here. All right, I think that looks pretty good. I also think it would be really cool to have an ice-themed petting zoo. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place one directly back here. It'll kind of be in the center pathway. So if we select this tile, we should be able to bippity 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 all the way over here. And then we can add in little pathways. We did it! We got 250 visitors! We're killing it right now! Wait, that was actually the final objective. 
That was it, 250 visitors? I feel like that's nothing. I wanna get to a thousand. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure what to do with this very, very empty area, but I think it's time to start adding in the animals. So in the last episode, I figured out that when you go to the animal section, it gives you suggestions of what animals you can place inside, but I figured out you could just bypass that and you could place whatever you want. So what I'm thinking we could do is we can maybe add in some sharks. I mean, sharks, I'm pretty sure like warm water, but there's probably gotta be some sharks that have a little bit of extra blubber on them so that they can go in cold water. So these will indeed be shark infested waters. And then on top, you guys would probably think I'm putting polar bears or maybe otters or penguins. Not even close. We are going to make this monkey jungle island. Except there's gonna be no trees. Tuco, don't do this. Tuco hates it. I'm so sorry, Tuco. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Why are you running? Tuco, don't do this. He just jumped on my chair. No sudden movements. Wild lizard on the loose. Tuco is ecologically responsible, therefore he did not like that I put a bunch of gorillas in shark infested waters. Luckily, it seems like they actually get a well great. So I will continue to add in more. This is beautiful. This is exactly what people want to see. Now on top of that, I'm pretty sure we can maybe add in some monkeys. <laughs> and then in maybe in a future episode, wait a second, right now I could probably put a tree in the middle. Yes. Monkey, 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 monkey. <laughs> Bro, the monkeys are flipping out. Okay, so next up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some bone meal. Oh, Tuco, I'm so sorry. I, I hurt your feelings again, didn't I? He hates exactly, uh, he, hate, he hates everything that I'm doing right now. All right, well, hopefully he doesn't get lost. Okay, okay, we need to act faster. Okay, so we're gonna need some dirt. Dirt right there in the middle. We're gonna put down the birch sapling and then we're gonna give the monkeys a tree to climb on. Perfect. Junior here absolutely loves it. You also need to shave your unibrow. Actually, it kind of looks pretty cool. All right, so we now have Ice Jungle Island with shark infested waters. I managed to secure Tuco. Now he's safe and sound on my shoulder. So for this next one, I think I'm planning on making it relatively normal. So we're gonna have seals. Tuco just completely yeeted his body off my shoulder. So we're gonna have a bunch of seals. This seal, okay, it, it, it looks like a rug now. What happened to the seal? I guess they can burrow themselves in the snow for protection. Oh, look at him, wait a second. He looks so cute now that he popped out his head. I gotta snap out of it. I need to focus here. Okay, so no polar bears on this one. We're gonna add in some penguins. These will only be very gentle, docile creatures. Perfect, there you go. Penguin for you, penguin for you. Now, I also wanna add in sea otters. I'm pretty sure sea otters like to, to be warm, but honestly, I feel like it fits. And then for the last piece of the puzzle, we're gonna add in a giraffe named Steve. He will be king of this ice island. Hopefully nobody actually freezes. Tuco, what are you doing? Stop, stop it, stop it, no escaping. Back on my head you go. All right, he seems pretty chilled out now. So the next little area we should have, I'm gonna add in a petting zoo but this is only going to be ice themed mobs. Honestly, every single time I go to a petting zoo, I want to pet a polar bear. The problem is you can't really pet a big polar bear because it's probably gonna try to eat you. So what you're gonna have to do is make a baby polar bear. And thing is, I don't necessarily know how to make a baby polar bear, but we're gonna try. Also, wait, hold up, what? Uh, polar bear on the loose. Staff immediately. Everybody come over to the brand new ice enclosures. We have an issue, code blue. I kind of forgot I'm the only person that works here. Uh, sir, sir. Sir? No, no, yeah, that's, yeah, no sudden movements, just walk away. Act like you didn't see anything, and also don't report me to the FBI. I am not trying to get shut down, I just got to 250 visitors, it is literally the biggest milestone of my life. Tuco, now is not the time. Okay, okay, tu Tuco, Tuco just doesn't understand English. Luckily, it seems like the polar bear does indeed get along with everybody, so may okay, this polar bear got out too, how are they getting out? This literally makes no sense, I thought I destroyed all, oh wait, maybe it's this. Alright, scratch that, we are no longer doing a polar bear petting zoo, they are just going to to be a part of the park now. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna spawn in tons and tons of penguins. Now, eventually I want to come back here and update the petting zoo so that we are able to add in like a little ice hill and maybe some water for the penguins. But right now I have way too much work to do. So the penguins are gonna have to deal with themselves there. The next sort of petting zoo I've always wanted to be a part of and the only time I actually ever got to pet a monkey was in Gibraltar. It's literally this like random rock of an island and they just have random monkeys going around doing crazy things. I watched a monkey steal a lady's purse one time. It was because she had food in it so it's not not even the monkey's fault. So little tiny kids can come in here, they can play with the penguins, they can play with the monkeys, they can also try not to get eaten alive by polar bears. This is honestly the best zoo ever. You see, if there's not a little bit of danger involved in your zoo experience, then you probably did your zoo experience wrong. And then the last thing I really wanna have is a little tiny elephant petting zoo so that people can maybe ride on the elephants. And then we could also have a little camel riding section too. And then on top of that, I completely forgot that when I was like six years old, I really wanted to ride on the back of a zebra, almost like it was a horse. So now all the young little Timmies that come in here, they could do just that. I mean, they might get stomped on by the giant elephant, but that's the problem for another day. 
Look how happy he is. He's just so excited to be here. Why isn't he moving? Okay, there we go. There we go. He, we breathe life back into him. Okay, the last thing I want to do- Wait, where did he just go? Did you just murder him? What the- Oh, oh my gosh! Well, I yeeted both of them right down to the void. So I guess the next order of business is going to be to figure out exactly what to do with these areas. I guess I could add in some mini little tiny ponds. And also we could add in some flowers that sort of match the area. And last but not least, I guess a couple birch trees could look really, really cool over here. All right, I think for now it definitely looks cool. If you guys do have any other ideas of how I can expand this area and maybe fill it in a little bit better, please go ahead and leave comments down below. Uh, you got- wait, what's going on over here? Free balloons, get your free balloons here. Oh, hey- Free hey, balloons? Guy, wait, Adam? Hey, little guy, you want a balloon? Dirt boy? Wanna, ah! Ah! <laughs> what is- what are you doing? Oh, Ooh, hey, what's going so on? I joined the zoo. I, I- What? I joined the zoo. You added me as an enclosure. Look, I'm selling free balloons to little kids. Uh, I don't remember balloons. adding you as an enclosure. I'm popping all your balloons. Yo, yo, Get your yo. balloons out of here, boy. This is your best attraction. What are you doing? There's no free balloons. You literally don't even have anything. You're literally just standing on grass. You have a grass little tiny area. I didn't even- You're not even paying for this. Oh, hey, little guy. You want another balloon? Wait. <laughs> are you killing my people? Yes. Only I can do that. Oh, this is so much fun. Why didn't you invite me earlier? Adam, I, I did not. I, I'm never going to invite you. You're officially banned from the zoo. Unless uh, you help me. Yes, I will help you. As you can see, I all I do is I bring in new customers and new visitors. They I'm want to see me. Pretty sure I just watched you kill three people. Tomato, tomato. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm here Adam, to help. Adam, wait. Uh, okay. Do do okay. Do? Well, um, oh, hold up. Tuco is on the, I don't know if Tuco actually wants you here. He's, he's on the run. Tuco is pretty much the mastermind of this entire operation. So I have to listen to what he says. Now, at the moment, it seems like he's kind of in between letting you stay and no, letting no. you get the heck out of here and me killing no, you. No, so no. Tuco, we're going to go Joe. ahead and see what Tuco wants to do here. I'm going to grab him and we're going to see where he goes. Tuco. So, Tuco has a big we'll decision this, here to make. I'm gonna I'm gonna let him look you in the eyes, right? I'm gonna put a Tuco? The, the dirt boy plushie on my other hand. Tuco, remember when I fed you that one time? All right, I we have the dirt boy plushie treats. available at BigBirdDeck.co. Now we're gonna put Tuco on top of the dirt boy plushie. Tuco, let's see if he enjoys it. We're gonna we're just gonna let him sit here for just a, a, a couple seconds, and we're just gonna Don't see poop what on happens. That plushie. That's supreme cotton. So far, no poop. We're yes. good. He loves Dirt Boy, I know I it. actually think he Let's likes go. you. Okay, okay, we're gonna let you stay. He literally hasn't moved the muscle. I don't know if he's terrified or if he's extremely comfy because it is very, oh, very soft. It's super squishy. I sleep with it every night. Okay, well, Tuco decided you could stay. Dirt Boy is in, ladies go. and gentlemen. Go, go back on my head. Thank you, Tuco. Tuco, you're so good. You're I've been so checking out the zoo, and it's flipping sick. You, yeah, you okay. Much have every single animal. We got it's petting zoos. Japan. We got We got desert zoos. We got jungle zoos. We have a giant butterfly mausoleum over here. I like that. But, Adam, I've already added in pretty much everything. So, the rest of the zoo, we are going to fill it with absolutely every possible thing in the universe. Every single animal is going to be in the zoo. Oh, oh, oh. this gives me the jitters. I'm so excited. Ah, Dude, there's so, so much bad. extra room. Like, you did every animal, but you're not even halfway done. There's Adam, so I am putting you, you on path duty. Follow me. What does that mean? That means you're going to place down paths. Oh, that sounds boring. What the heck? Uh, that's not my problem. Crap. All right, I, I get it. I gotta do the grunt work since I'm new. I'll build my way up. Okay, you're gonna just. Go, I'm gonna actually TP you over to me. I'm at the butterfly exhibit. Oh. No butterflies oh, okay, for up? you today. Okay, Adam, I'm gonna need you to extend this pathway over here. You see all this free, fresh real estate? We're gonna need to fill it up with animal enclosures. Call me Construction Dirt Boy. That's what I do. You can make them dirt paths. You can make them any type of paths you want. All right. Uh. I go like that, like that. You're learning. Bang. All right. Do anything. Yeah, look, you got oh, a path nice. going. Nice. You got some dirt paths. All right, ready? Watch me. Let's go. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You keep doing that. I'm going to go ahead and add it tons and tons of enclosures. Now, your guy's favorite enclosure was the petting zoo. Come on, come Let's on, go come see on. petting zoo. This is going to be the longest zoo? dirt pet road known to man. I'm going to break some world records here. I don't know. Have you seen Rome? Yes. It wasn't built in a day. Okay. Well... I think I have one of the petting zoos ready to go. Oh my gosh, Tuco is on the- he's on the escape! Oh, he he's doesn't on the like escape! It. He doesn't like that exhibit! He's running! I'm so sorry, Tuco! You gotta pick a new exhibit, he doesn't like okay. that Okay! Okay, I'll pick a new exhibit, Tuco! Don't jump! Okay, Back I on think my you should head. give him to me. I don't think Back he likes Back on you. my head, Tuco, you're very nice and fluffy. 
He wants the dirt boy plushie. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time. So, this is going to be a giant petting zoo. I don't think Tuco liked that I was going to add in normal animals, so I guess we're going to need to make this petting zoo have somewhat exotic creatures that people can come in and pet. Do we have reptiles? Is that an option? Um, well, let me go check. Normally, most of the time, no, but I can look through the creative mode menu, and we can check it out. Ooh, I like that. Let's see. We have cheetahs we can add in the petting zoo. I'm pretty sure people would like that. Oh, we can add snakes to the petting zoo. What the heck? No, Tuco doesn't- Wait, does he want it? I think he actually liked a snake. He jumped on my shoulder. I'm pretty sure snakes are like a predator to bearded dragons. I don't um, think I'll like them. Well, that's okay. That's like the only sort of reptilian creature that we have. So we can do a snake and penguin enclosure. Okay. I like okay. That. Um, I guess we could also add in some wildebeest for good measure. Wildebeest? What? What kind of zoo is this? Well, there might be a couple other enclosures that have monkeys in the the ice areas. What? So don't even worry about it. Okay, Tuco absolutely loves it. He's he's trying to escape, but that's fine. We're gonna add in a bunch of penguins to penguins. our penguin petting zoo. It's for the petting zoo, Adam. What the heck? Would you not want to pet a penguin? This is the best petting zoo ever. And we're also hey, going penguin. to add in just a one one snake. His name will be Stanley. Dude, you're literally they're gonna have to fight each other. They don't know. They don't fight at all. See, look, they're oh, very very docile. Yeah, the penguins and the snakes and the wildebeest, they're all gonna get along. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That snake's getting way too close to that penguin. Back up! Oh, okay, wait. so, okay, they're yeah, friends. no, they're all they're all fine. So that'll be the, the snake, penguin, wildebeest enclosure. Over here, I guess we can have some some normal things. We could just have, like, a little chicken farm. I like that. Just, like, a couple chickens. That's a lot of chickens, bro. No, just, like, just like maybe five or six chickens on this one. Okay, I'm gonna bring some villagers over and, and test whether they like it or not. Okay, cool, cool, yeah. Bring them on over and then see which one they like the best. Now, in the I'm meantime, gonna I'm gonna go ahead and make a scorpion petting zoo. See, look, the rest of the zoo is pretty well done, but now that Dirt Boy is here on Dirt Path, we need to make sure that Dirt Path is kind of like its own little section. Yeah, this is kind of like a circus over here, if I'm being honest, and I like okay. it. Yeah, so when you guys visit the zoo, just know when you come down Dirt Boy Path that it's going to be somewhat interesting. That's why I like it. Okay, what's next? Next up, all right, you said you wanted it to be icy, right? Yeah, I'm feeling a little chilly. Actually, all right. I'm feeling extremely hot. I need to be cooled down. Okay, I see what you're saying here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to cool you down with a giant Whoa. Mesa exhibit. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I wanted. This is not cooling you down? No. Uh oh. This thing um, actually is pretty cool. Let me check. Okay, okay, wait. Uh, let me let me try this one more time. I'm going to need to clear out some of the areas over here. Um, ooh, ooh. Can this be my exhibit? Uh, yeah, I guess we can I, build you a little house in here if you really want. I do need a place to live. Okay. I'm build a house. Do you want to have any pets here? You have water? Um, I guess I could give you food. Hold on, let me get you some food while you're in here. Yes. Oh my gosh, this is my dream home. Alright, cool. We'll start up a little tiny farm for Dirt Boy. Okay, make sure to put a sign outside so everyone knows this is mine. This is my okay. territory. There you go, there you go. Build up, build up some, some dirt walls for Dirt Boy. I like this. Oh, I like this a lot. There we go. We'll make you like a little like a little ant hill, but for people. This is kind of roomy. I like it. Oh this yeah, this is, is this is the stuff right here. This is a lot better than where I'm at right now, to be honest. All right, there you go. Do you want a door in this place, or do you want to just like kind of crawl out like some sort of animal? Yeah, I was thinking of crawling out. I'm just gonna go like this, and then like this. Yeah, maybe Whoa. it like goes down into like like a, yeah like a cave. I like it. Oh, a little man cave. I like yeah, this. yeah, a little man cave down here for Dirt Boy. I like it. And then you could jump up here if you want to go up to the second story. I like that. Okay, yeah, this is definitely looking fantastic. I'd say 10 out of 10 if you're asking. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, you have a little farm out here. You can eat some sugar canes. And I guess you should probably have a couple animals in here, right? <laughs> yeah, 100%. All right, That's cool. That's the only reason I'm here. We'll put your spirit animal in here, the camel. Ooh, let's go. Plop him in. All right, there you go. We have camel dirt boy enclosure. Um, let's go ahead and we're going to make a sign for this one. Not something special here. Yeah, make it cool so people want to watch me. Come see dummy. What? <laughs> That's not what we agreed on. Oh, well, you can't do this to me. This villager literally came up and read the sign, and then he looked directly at you. So I think he he's picking up on right. what I'm putting down. Hey, right, let me out of here. All right, you cool. Can't well, here. taking care of dirt boy. We still have a lot more area to cover here. Um, so you Adam, you make this. yourself at home. If you do want to come back out, the door's over here. At the same time, I feel like you're pretty much sat in here for life. Oh yeah, I, I actually really like it here. I'm gonna chill out for a bit. All right, cool. I also want to give you one elephant, just for good measure. Yes. All right, let's see. I think I'm gonna add in a giant terrace at the end of Dirt Boy World. 
Oh, yes, what? yes, this looks very, very nice. It's just like an area where people can sit and have good conversation and maybe eat some of the pizza that they bought or talk yes, about their yes. affinity and love for dirt. Dirt World is all about conversation. There how we, we go. How we communicate about dirt, how we touch dirt. Perfect. So yeah, they can come over here and they can do all of that good stuff. Um, and then we could probably add in one giant enclosure over here where uh, John is over here kind of just staring out into the distance. I love John. Very introspective of you, John. You're doing great. Okay, yeah, move along, John. I think he knows what Dirt World's all about. I think he got tired of Dirt World. He's looking for the secret grass world somewhere over there. Well, the, the trick is, uh, the little secret Dirt World is once you come in, you're not coming out. So, he's Wait, what? forever. That's... <laughs> It's in the fine print, which what? is a contract. I don't, pretty much trapped in Dirt World. I'll I don't want to be trapped thing. in Dirt World. By the time you guys see this video, I'll probably have this entire thing boxed off with jail cells and everything. So once you enter, you're not coming back out. <laughs> what just happened? Where is Tuco? Tuco, get over here. He's probably here. running away from Dirt World. Tuco's actually, he's hanging out. He's having a great time. I don't want to disturb him. Let's get him. Well, at the end of Dirt World, we're just going to have a giant wetland enclosure. I feel like that is suitable. Like By the end of your time at Dirt World, you're probably going to feel absolutely disgusting. So you're going to want to wash off. Yeah, you're going to want to wash off, off in the dirt. wetlands. Well, they have nowhere else to go, so I mean, you could throw it in if you want to. Okay, there we go. Yeah, there's a giant... I'll actually add in some ponds as well. Let me, uh, let me make sure that we have some animals in this one. You do that. I'm almost finished. So, for the wetlands, I mean, you're probably going to be crying yourself to sleep by the end of the night. So, I want to make sure that we add in a bunch of cute pets here. Uh, just so that people don't really feel too bad about their experience here. Uh, nothing. Just like maybe they want to pet a horse. Or maybe like some bunny rabbits at the end of their, you know, amazing journey in Dirt World. Just probably to really, just probably. to really have a great time. Maybe some cats. Maybe some dogs. You said they'd have a bad experience. I don't know why they would have that. I don't Dirt know. It's just, I mean, yeah, they could have a bad experience. We're not really sure what's going to happen. I know for a fact they won't. We're just going to spawn in a bunch of rabbits at the end so that people can come inside and they can cuddle with rabbits and talk about all their good times they had in Dirt World. All right. I'm okay with that. I I just realized that cats eat rabbits. Oh, <laughs> I just, my gosh. That's I spawned in so that. many rabbits and now they're all dying. What is up with you? I didn't know that happened. I'm going to spawn in rabbits on this hill. The rabbits should be safe up here. I'll spawn in puppies too. So people can come in here at the very end and they could pet the puppies. They could pet the cats and they could maybe hopefully pet a rabbit or two. There's a baby horse in here as well named Jeffrey. So if all else fails, they can come in here and have a great time with Jeffrey. Well, honestly, I think Dirt World is pretty much complete. There is one exhibit that you still need to fill in with your own animals. I don't think you've done that yet. So I want to kind of leave it up to you. Um, but for the most part, everything's basically done. Let's go. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that I add in, like, just a couple more little tiny, like, trees and stuff around the area just to spice it up a little bit. Oh, my gosh. This front sign is actually so sick. I love it. <laughs> Wait, I'm coming to see. <laughs> it's amazing. No one's ever going to leave. This is exactly how I expected it to be. <laughs> it's just a wall of dirt. It and looks it beautiful. Dirt. It looks amazing. I actually really like it. I like how it turned out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the grand unveiling of Dirt World. Uh, da, 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 the da, da, newest addition to Cookie Kingdom. I need to make sure Tuco sees this. Tuco loves Dirt World. Let's go. Tuco, come on, Tuco. You must see Dirt World in all of its glory. This place is sick, man. All right, Tuco is in position. So you walk inside. You have an amazing dirt logo right at the start. You flip around. It also says dirt. Oh, oh okay. I like it. Double side. You look to the left, you got pandas, you got cheetahs, you got ocelots, you got all sorts of different animals. To the right, the entire area is a penguin petting zoo with chickens and also scorpions, if you so please. Cluck, cluck, what's up? Over here, we have our very first uh, zookeeper llama gorilla petting zoo. You can go in and play with all the people inside and the gorillas and also the llamas. And Be warned, <laughs> once you go in, you're not coming back out. Probably not. And then you have Dirt Boy himself. His this own enclosure, his kingdom. Welcome to the dirt hut. It is very dirty and very hutty inside. Yeah, that's why I have the pond here. Clean myself off. Have you named any of your llamas? These are not even llamas. These are camels. That's what you think. Moving along, we have <laughs> the, the dirt pizza place. All named oh, Jeff. Adam, you have a customer. What the heck? Hey, welcome to Dirt Boy Pizza. How would you like your pizza? Nice I will dirty. save this okay. child. 
Nice and dirty, coming right up. Oh, wait, wait where'd he go? Where'd he go? He ran That's out as soon as you started to talk about how dirty he was going to be. Dang it. That was my only customer. <laughs> nice try, kid. We'll get him next time. Uh, moving along, we have Dirt Boy's very own enclosure that he will be adding tons and tons of animals to. Maybe even every animal. Yep, leave a comment what animals you want me to plop in here. Um, We have what we like to call the, the dirt thought patio. This is where you eat dirt and think about life. No, you don't think about life. You think about dirt. You eat dirt oh, you eat dirt, dirt, think about dirt, breathe dirt. Talk about dirt. Okay, understood. No conversations except for dirt. What the heck is this stupid sign? Looking awfully dirty today. Um, and then you move along to the last exhibit where you just have the most cute petting zoo of all time. You oh, have wow. so many different things that you can come in here and pet. So many colors. I love it. Don't ask about the rabbits. I won't. And then there is no escaping unless you go back through the front. This is a dirt wall that nobody can break, and just in case people want to see from the other side, Cookie Kingdom, they know that this is dirt and it is off limits. For now. And For if now. you come along to the other side, you'll see my line of signs. What did it say? It does say, welcome, you are welcome. Oh wait, do not, what the, what? 